Welcome back to Two Brothers Comics. It's time for the Saturday Night Comic Book Babylon. Nick will be here very shortly, and we will be together going over stuff we picked up this week. And I really don't know what's going from there, so let's stick around and see what happens. Hope everybody is doing well tonight. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm a little disoriented. Uh, see some people hanging out in the chat, so let's see who we got hanging out. We've got Corey, what's going on, man? Ruben, what's up, bro? Uh, Josh, what's going on, man? Hope you're doing. Hope you're doing better, man, with the with the knee. Uh, right on. What's up, Mark? Appreciate it, man. Dropping all the emojis. Uh, Chris Padilla, what's going on? Oh, right on. Well, good luck. Good luck. What you watching, man? Uh, yeah, absolutely. 100%. 100%. Tosh, what's going on, man? Dewey, what's up? What's up? What's up, Chris? What's going on, brother? Getting ready for Friday, man. It's going to be a good show. Guaranteed guarantee you we will be getting that strap back bro no doubt about it no doubt about it uh i hope everybody can hear me well um again if uh you haven't paid been on since things changed um apologize for the bland background but uh, i am in the uh, middle of uh changing the entire room here and uh so i had to pull everything down get it out repaint and then uh gonna bring a bunch of new stuff in and just re redo the entire room so um definitely uh definitely looking forward to, to getting it back uh to be in a comic book themed background behind me here instead of just the uh the, the blandness that we have <laughs> prison mike what's up mars what's up so yeah, we uh we'll have Nick here soon. He's uh he's on the way to the house. He's in town this week. So uh, we'll have him here pretty soon. Uh, I guess I don't think um I don't think Nick even had anything. So we'll just go ahead and hit the. So uh, just gonna jump right into new pickups. I got a bunch of stuff this week, which is awesome. Definitely awesome. And uh, let's see. We'll start here. So I ordered the WonderCon exclusives for the last Ronin issue number two. So we got the, the WonderCon exclusives here. And uh, grabbed two of those. Pretty neat. Pretty neat looking covers. Um yeah, I'm, I'm digging them. Really cool. So we got two of those, and it came with this um, this little Star Wars thing here. And uh, it says, a poster, a micro comic, a jumbo comic card, and a sticker sheet. So, um, yeah. Not my taste, not my thing. So, I don't know. I'll probably just uh, hold on to it. We'll throw it in a giveaway or something at some point, but... Uh, that came with the WonderCon exclusive. And then I got the second print for number two this week. And I believe this was supposed to be the original artwork for, for the A cover first print. But uh, something changed there. So uh, I can't confirm that. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, I remember that, that being correct. So I uh, got the director's cut for issue number one. So that was nice. And uh, so let's check this out. I got an AOK -okay here uh, donation from, it's more of a donation than an AOK -okay from uh, Tyler, Tyler Glass over at Wack Comics. Hold on a second. I'm going to turn the mute on real quick.
All right, so these were actually uh, donated by Tyler from over at Wack Comics, and I'll explain what I mean. Uh, first of all, he sent me their brand new stickers, so that is awesome. And uh, so you guys know I had the spinner rack right here before, and I had just some cool covers that I like, stuff like that on the spinner rack. Well, I am doing something completely different with the spinner rack now. I've stripped it down and uh, took, took it, taken everything off of it. And the route that I'm going to go now is I want to fill my spinner rack up with facsimiles and reprints um, of like bigger books, cool keys and stuff like that. Um, and just throw them in there raw and uh, have just a cool spinner rack of, of like these awesome, crazy big books. And then we're going to do a, I'm going to do a, one, a weekly video series with that, too. Uh, where I'm going to basically do reviews on these big keys, big books that a lot of times people will buy because it's a big key, but you dare not open the book and read it. So because of that, a lot of people have never read like or know the story behind like a Hulk one or, or, or you know, an Avengers 4 or Avengers 1. So I think that's going to be a weekly series I'm going to do where I take something off the spinner rack and just do a short review on uh, on on a different book every week so that's that's where we're going with that and these are donations from tyler because i was reaching out and asking if anybody had facsimiles that they didn't want uh that i could purchase or um and and he just decided to send me a stack uh i know comic burrito they're sending me some as well so i definitely appreciate those guys and i picked up a bunch at the shops this week so let's see what i got here we have Star Wars Age of Rebellion, Boba Fett number one. So that will go on the spinner rack. We have The Boys, issue number one, free comic book day. This is one that I'm excited about. I'll tell you what, this one's not going on the spinner rack raw, but uh, couldn't believe he, he opted to uh, send that. But we got that first Miles Morales comic fest, uh, the Halloween comic fest reprint. It's as close as I'm going to get to owning that copy of that book again. Had one. I don't need more. We've got, oh, this is one of my favorite covers. One of my favorite covers of all time. Batman 475. The Clownfish. So, uh, the Joker Fish. One of my favorite, favorite covers. That's an awesome one. Awesome one to have. Uh, another great one here. Uh, beautiful Neil art, uh, beautiful Neil Adams artwork. Everybody knows the Batman 251. We've got again uh, Neil Adams' great cover here with Batman 232. Um, again, I can't believe he sent this, but uh, Batman Detective Comics 880, and this is the foil. Who sent that over? Tyler, these are all for the spinner rack. Dang. Good deal. Uh, we have Detective Comics 38, the first appearance of Robin. And we are live right now, so you're making a lot of noise. No respect out here. And a book that I'm actually about to put in a CGC 98 pre screen Batman Adventures number one. So these are some really, really awesome books for the spinner rack. Uh, I appreciate it, Tyler, man. This is awesome. And I love that it's heavy on the DC because I don't have um, I don't have any. I think I've got maybe one or two DC books on there right now. So, yeah. So we got the Batman Adventures, the Tech 38, First Robin, the Tech 880, which, again, that one will not. Some of these I'll put in the raw just. You know, I think I wanted to have that old school feel, the the uh, that that original spinner rack look, but uh, that one and a couple of others will not be going in there raw. That uh, we got the two thirty two, we've got two fifty one, we've got the Joker fish four seventy five, we've got the first appearance of Miles Morales. The Boys number one and Boba Fett issue number one. So uh, awesome, awesome. I appreciate that. And uh, each one of these will definitely be notated that uh, these came from Shattered Glass Comic Reviews, Tyler from Wack Comics. And that way when I do get to 
uh, his any of those books when I do the review to make sure that I give him a proper shout out. Oh, we are looking horrible. I know we're gonna make it eye level, and then I'm gonna sit down. Sorry, guys, we're adjusting. Yeah, yeah. Boom. that's yeah. It's not good. No, it's not. Watch. We are crooked as all get out. Are we unlevel? Extremely. Which way? Look at this. I shaved. It was going so well. To what she said. Oh, there we go. I've been trying to put a kid in bed for the last hour. <coughs> Boop. You might as well go ahead and get back up and get your precious little Starbucks coffee. <sighs> it's cold. Your commie coffee. Now the good stuff. Because I I got some huge, huge deals this week. Huge. Yeah, absolutely. Got some really, really nice deals this week. And uh, again, got all of the comic community stickers representing on here. Comic Book Poser is the newest edition, and uh, I'll make sure to throw. I guess I'm going to have three whack comics on here now because I got one of those uh, new ones. Here, here's, here's you a whack comic sticker. Right on. He sent me two. That's their newest ones. Dude, that's incredible. Who made these? I mean, they, they do good You stickers. don't know who this is, do you? Uh, he told me, but uh, it's, Invincible. Yeah, it's Invincible yeah. and Allen. But, you know, they've got these no, that they I've made, too. They're, they're nice quality. Dang, it won't fit on my phone. I was going <laughs> to. So uh, some new comic book day stuff. Already showed the last Ronin second print. I got that Cap Cho variant. Uh, that's one that I didn't pick up when it came out, and he threw it in the box. And then Beta Ray Bill issue number one. So, uh, all cover buys this week. I didn't buy anything to actually read it. I uh, wasn't really interested too much in reading uh, that Beta Ray Bill. And uh, I might read that Carnage book. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to check out the Beta Ray Bill, I think. And we hold Look. on. Hold on, guys. It's already gone down. So, what's up? He's going night night. I love you, Daddy. I love you, this too. Is, this is wholesome content. I love you, Hagen. Do you love me or your daddy more? I love both of you. Love you. Oh, you. say hey. Look, show him you lost. He lost his first tooth yesterday. Look, look right here. Lost that first tooth. All right. <laughs> All right, go. I'm going to beat your daddy up later. No. Okay. Hey, shut the door, please. Be quiet. Go. I love you, Cousin Hagen. Quit playing around. Shut the door. All right. Uh, this one came in the mail. This is Hamilton Comics Power Rangers issue three from the second series from Hamilton Comics. Uh, I think this is something that I might start. I was talking to Ryan. I think I'm going to try to finish out my runs from Hamilton and Marvel Comics from the 90s. You might want to do something because at this point I'm selling everything. Well, and and I'm so... You can't buy anything right now. Right. And <laughs> and I can't think of much else I want to buy. No, and, and Josh on like, the way... Yeah. And, like, and, like with the stuff that I bought recently, there's not much left for me to buy. Yeah. And Josh, so I like I've been trying to get Ellie to go to sleep because I had some photos and she was coming back. So on the way over here, I saw your text and I haven't got a chance to respond. But man, some of the prices he's been able to sell some books at. And I'm like, like for example, She Hulk number one. Have you seen how expensive that's gotten? Mm -mm, that doesn't interest me too much. So I it didn't interest me either. It. But like, no lie, a nine eight was like I say next to nothing, but wasn't it like a two hundred dollar book not too long ago? Yeah, and now it's like two like thousand. Sometime last year you could get it for that, yeah. Holy crazy. Dude. Absolutely crazy. Pick this okay, one up. That's freaking so hilarious. I picked this up for the tone. My boy, Tony Sanders. Uh, he loves the rock. So I had to take care of him and grab that, that, that Scorpion King issue number one for him. I, uh, yeah, Golden Age Cap. Oh my God. I don't think I'll ever dip too dive, dive too deep into that. I want to get number 27. I don't know how far I'll go past that. Uh, y'all know if I see them, I buy them. So, Mortal Kombat number two, really nice book in good condition. Five bucks. I feel like we got to put something back here. I feel I like I'm sitting I, at the prison. I know. I just I've I'm, never been to a I mean, prison. It I looks just, good though, right? Yeah, it like does I've look done, very good. I've done. That's my well. first time seeing. Look, it, I picked up a couple of posters. I'll show like, those in a it, second. It legit looks very nice in here. I mean, I'm I'm really trying hard. We're gonna get some nice drapes and blinds. Look at. We're gonna use the word drapes. Well, my my wife's been saying it. I don't know. So here was we the big use, one. You don't use curtains. They're drapes. Okay. What's the difference? 
Oh, dra- can you stop doing that? Because they sorry. hear it every time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The drapes go to the floor, right? Curtains stay up close to the thing. I don't. So know. the joke I was gonna make, <coughs> I'm not gonna make the joke I was okay. gonna make. It's not a bad joke. It's just we would go off on a tangent, so we'll continue. Okay. Yeah, no tangents. Tasha's like, I kind of like the plain walls. No, they do look really good, but like on a webcam, not so much. But whenever you can drop your ISO down real low, yeah. and have just it on you, and then have like a gradient behind you, oh, it looks good. I want to yeah. do that, but but yeah. So this was probably my uh, one of my favorite books I picked up this week. You guys know I pick up like uh, movie books anytime I see them. Just weird stuff from the 90s that's nostalgic. And you can't get much more nostalgic than Beldar and Coneheads issue number one for five bucks. Five bucks, man. First Flark Field issue. And this thing is very, very, very clean. Super nice condition book. And I'm telling you guys, it's cool. It's it's as cool as it is. Like I would never grade this, but I looked on eBay just because I was curious if I got a good deal at five bucks. It was about average, but there are people that have graded copies of this. Uh, I saw someone selling like a seven five uh, for five bucks. I also got the Death of Captain America. This is, gone. This is kind of a hot book, uh, and and it's you know it's a key, but uh, it's Captain America. So. And this is a book that I thought that I was just going to like, mm, it's, it's, I needed it for my run. And, uh, I try to keep an eye on things that are going off the rail in runs I'm picking up. And this was one, but I found it for $5 and it is probably a nine, six. We got the first flag smasher $5. So, so eat your heart out eBay with your $45 <laughs> books. I got mine for five bucks. I mean, look at that. That's yeah. clean. So you should sit down and read through some of this Captain America stuff. I know you have getting through, but I, I <clears throat> we did that video, uh, one of our shorts and I was reading through. Um, and, and I know we've not been a huge fan of Captain America and Winter Soldier. And I say not a huge fan, but like, you mean but Falcon. Anyways, Falcon and Winter yeah. Soldier, whatever. But like the first time you actually see, um, John Walker get the Captain America suit on. It was inside a locker room. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw. Yeah. So like, just that. Yeah, I've read like, that there's issue. Some pretty cool, pretty cool Easter. Yeah, I, I, I've read that issue, and he was in there, and he was talking to that woman, and, yeah. and the suit was a little bit tight because John Walker's so yeah. much bigger than Captain America, uh, except for when Disney does a movie or a TV show and doesn't know <laughs> what they're doing, and then he's just a little twerp. Uh, this is one that I really like, and I was super glad to find it. I've never been able to have this book, but. For five bucks, I picked it up. Uncanny X Men two sixty eight. Jim Lee on the artwork with that Captain America, Wolverine, and Black Widow for the first time again. Again for the first time, it says. I don't know, but I mean, it's super cool to see Cap with the Wolverine. That's the first time Cap was in the X Men title. Yes, I saw this the other day. Um, where did I see this? I don't, I don't know. think it was at Josh's, but wherever I saw you it. saw it, I bet it wasn't five dollars though. No, that book is way more expensive than five. Now, guys, I left the price tag on this book because I was blown away and couldn't. Oh, believe that was it. really cool. I couldn't believe that I found this for ten dollars, guys. Ten, ten dollars. Not, not a hundred, not one hundred and fifty, like it would probably sell for ten bucks. You guys ready? Y'all know I will dig my man, Jim Steranko. Ten dollars. Look at that. I left a tag on the bag. I was so proud of that for 10 bucks. I mean, I'm just, I literally was flipping through all of their $5 books. And then I found like some random boxes off to the side by the tray paperbacks yeah. and stuff. They like five boxes over there. That's where I found the, the cone heads and the Mortal Kombat. And then I found this for $10. That was at Noonan? That was at Dave's other store in Noonan. You know, Dave should whoop your tail for all the steals you've gotten off of him. I mean, you know. And real quick, real and this, quick. This is the same store that I got the yeah. second appearance of Johnny Blaze, Marvel Spotlight number six for $5. The second appearance of the Western Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider number two for $5. And I got that for $10. Yep. So, real quick, Travis Wilson, Thomas Zarboninski. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that. Uh, Dan Ackery and Zarboninski. Zarboninski. Look at you. Look at you. We I've had the discussion with him already. Okay. So he's at your shop? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. No, no, that's fine. Um, I need all of their addresses so I can get out those super chat boxes. Yep. So those will go out. I, I've sent out the ones I have the addresses for. I mean, I mean, it's a little bit low grade, but I don't care. Josh I mean, is like I mean no, honestly though, dude, like like no matter what the grade is for ten bucks, like you can't get that book without a cover for ten dollars. I mean, no, that's really not that bad. I mean, it's not. <laughs> I would take this book all day long for. I would probably pay thirty or thirty five for it. People are paying like one hundred and seventy five in that condition on eBay. Really? Yeah. Shows you how I was 
touch I am on that stuff. Because of course I had to look it up and just see. Um, just because I, mean, I was, I was, I was curious, like you know, and I mean, like I, I even messaged Nick and Justin as soon as I found it, and was like, hey, check this look out. Look the date on it, two seventeen twenty one. So you know he's not BSing. Some, <laughs> some, some. But you know what? That Noonan store man, he has all the card folks working there, not the comic book folks. Yeah. So, well, he's got more. He, he's only got a, uh, the card guys only get to run the register, um, and the uh, the little short dude with the ponytail. He prices all the books out, but he uses a. Uh, he uses a daggone um, price guy. Price guy it's still the paper one. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, like we like when I got that some money, I got that first Silver Age um, Red Skull for thirty dollars. He pulled it out of the price guide and he told me forty five. I said, "What about 30? And he's like, "All right." I said, "All right, put it in a mile arm. We got a deal." <laughs> <laughs> then, then if he says no, be like, "Hold on, let me call. Let me call Dave." <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. And here's the thing: like, I don't know how that relationship works between them two because I think he Dave just lets him do what he does mm -hmm. out there. So I don't know. All right, let's see. Uh, we're gonna run back through the chat. Yeah, we, you missed a bunch. Yeah, so. Uh, we got people saying, where is Nick at? Oh, I can't even highlight Ryan's, but uh, you can read it there. Where's he at? Uh, right here. Hey, come on, Ryan. <laughs> Kenneth Burr, what's going on, man? Hey, thanks to you, brother. It is. It absolutely is. I think you uh, probably filled up a whole, one whole side for me, man. So I appreciate that so much, dude. Really, really appreciate it. I'm going to put it. out like a thing, like I'm putting out like a, a spinner rack, but only Golden Age books. Of uh, first appearances, okay. So when I put out a thing, I'm like, "Hey, anybody got a Golden Age first appearance book they want to send over?" Good, good luck. <laughs> good luck on finding a spinner rack that'll fit Golden Age yeah. books for less. I'll like weld four. my own. Them things are expensive. Yeah, uh, Josh hooked me up with this one, man. I was, I was definitely uh, very, very appreciative of that. Very appreciative of that. Um, yes, absolutely. You guys, go check out Whack Comics. Um, let's see. Du, 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 Vincent McLean, what's you know, up, I'm man? glad to see Josh and Tosh back. By the way, the Bro Box should either be there today or should have already gotten there. He got it. He said it was awesome. Cool. Yep. Cool. So, cool. 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 Vince, cool. I know you. I know you're all about trying to get them big keys for for cheap, man. So uh, go ahead. What's going I'm on? Going with down Nick? the gauntlet, man. Try to beat me if you can. What's going on with Nick? <laughs> is I let a I, I let a, a year and a half year old eat way too many peeps and uh, cake today for Easter. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, no doubt, Dan. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people wishing they could uh, find that spinner rack. <laughs> yeah, I am clean cut, though, Austin. You know what I mean? I finally shaved off the, the neck beard. Huge. <laughs> What's up, Mars Comics? I know, right? Who drinks Starbucks? I'll tell you what. We were coming through Hiram today after we left GameStop because... Uh, my, I promised my kid I'd take him to go buy a video game. And I thought you were about to say Starbucks. I was about to say that's so funny. Well, I was coming through the little area there, and like traffic was just at a halt. Yeah. And I look up, and people are going in the just other lane. Starbucks. It was the Starbucks line had forty cars in it, dude. Bro. Oh my god! I'm calling the city to shut Starbucks down. It ain't gonna happen. Like that is ridiculous. I hate Starbucks, and I don't care for for. Like uh uh, there's not a better cup of coffee. I would I will I've never tried. I will never give them my money ever. If I cannot carry a firearm in your store, you do not get my money. Well, that's basically like a ton of people in stores. Well, if I see a sign on the door, I don't go in. <laughs> that's fact, Jack. Or right. or I like to be on the nose and just do it anyway. I don't think the people there care. <laughs> I legitimately Let's don't. Let's see. Um, you need to keep your feet out of your videos, bro. Oh, I thought that had something to do with M Mephisto. I've never received one. I've never received one. I have a bunch. Would I, you like I, one? I would. I've, I've, I've no, said I, I would like one several times. sorry for you because the amount of deals that man's giving you, you should buy a sticker, honestly. I've never seen him there. He was out of them last time I talked. Hey, he was, have you seen the we were gonna do the, We were going to do the uh, competition thing, and I never got one, but... Look, I don't feel bad about the deals. I'm appreciative of them, and I'm happy about them. But You're stealing the man's money. I spend a lot of money at the man's shop. I think I still spend more than you throughout the year. You just do it one chunk. Well, I mean, you probably do, but you go there once a week. I show up every couple of months and pay his bills for him. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you what, he's having, some, <laughs> he's having an amazing few weeks. Uh, let's see. Lee drew the color. That's pretty awesome, man. I mean, this is like right on. Let me see I'm that one. 
Lee drew and colored it. Nice. No, Tyler colored it. Oh, Tyler colored it. Yeah. So, good deal, man. Well, the pencils look good. I'm, I'm not sure about the ink. <laughs> uh, a couple people said that the Beta Ray was pretty good. Yeah, the Beta Ray was supposed to be pretty dang good. I didn't pick it up this week, but I'll probably still read it digitally. So, uh, oh, you know what? I hadn't, didn't get with the guy whenever I was there. I haven't gotten anything or, or taken anything yet. So, I'll have to figure that out, man. Josh um, said he was going to do it. Okay, because I'm not even sure because – I mean, I pretty much just donated everything I won. So, did my slabs fall off the wall? Everything fell off the wall, man. No, he's redoing really it, man. It's I, all I don't. I'm, I'm so at a loss right now on where to go that it's it's incredible. So, um, I've got some things in mind, but I'm still trying to work out the details. So, let's see. Uh, I got the Stegman variant. Uh, wherever is it? Yeah, I think it's the Stegman. Yeah. Yeah, that thing looks sick. Yeah, that was a strictly a cover buy for me for sure. I like did you show off your exclusives? I did. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I didn't get this one though. You didn't? What'd you get? I don't know. I did a video on it, but I didn't like the way the angle looked. So I yeah, it got too much like crotch. Thanks, man. I know you're a big fan. I of said I was gonna man. give it to some loser, so that's uh, I don't care. Oh, man. Um, I don't care a bit. Yeah, I'm glad see. to see Josh and Tosh in here tonight, man. You know, they've had a busy week with uh, – or a few weeks with, with – uh, That's true. Gosh, that is true, what is it? Chris. What is this right here? Fishing? No, the stick in the nun balls. Nunchucks? The stick in the balls. Not hockey. It's like air hockey. Like mm -hmm. the, the coaching they do. Lacrosse, lacrosse. I'm like so confused. They take the I'm, stick. And I, I, I was lost. I was lost with stick and balls. I know oh everybody knows how to handle their stick and balls, Dustin. It absolutely is insane. It absolutely is. And I, and I did a I'm video about. Do, yeah, you did one, and I'm going to do one. Like guys, no lie. I'm, maybe was, we, maybe we can end early, and maybe we can try to record <laughs> that video <laughs> yeah. that I've been talking about. We should record. So guys, we're going to end the Babylon now and just make some great content for you guys to watch later. Is that okay? <laughs> maybe we'll. Put up us recording it uh, for the members only. Uh, let's see, kind of like the playing walls. Uh, Nick, if you're Nick, if you're in prison, that looks like you're not in prison. <laughs> I know. Does the carpet match the? Oh my gosh, no, nothing matches this dreadful, awful carpet I have, dude. Uh, put a bunk bed in there. To look more like you're in prison. <laughs> you're so far behind. Just scroll through. I scroll am. through real quick. Okay, looking for cone heads now. Yeah, hey. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Just bought my cone heads number one for two seventy five. <laughs> okay, so Josh did have it on the wall. What's that? Uh, the the one you showed off that one. Okay, so that's where I saw. I saw oh it. yeah, he's probably got a uh, graded copy. I don't know if he does wrong. Okay. I just went through all his Captain America books when I did that video. I posted to Instagram. Gotcha. So gotcha. Adrian, what's going on, bro? Hope you're doing well, man. Thanks for. Popping in for a minute. Austin, what's up, man? Lee, what's going on, bro? Wack Good to wack. see you. By the way, what, you remember like nine months ago, Wack commented in one of my top picks video. He goes, this music is effing atrocious and I can't stand it and it makes me want to shoot myself. Randy, what's going on, man? What's going on, bro? I need to send you some money, dude. I forgot I need to send you some money. I still haven't found no. a blank sketch. But uh, yeah, I need to I need to start sending that so money Josh, to you. So Josh, you see that? Now, Josh didn't even give me a chance to say anything. So today's Kaylisa's birthday. Okay. So happy birthday, Kaylisa. Huge happy birthday. But I've been in Atlanta. 100. Yeah. So I was confused. I, was, yeah. I wasn't sure if we were supposed to type something to Kaylisa on the Facebook page. And I tried to find her on Facebook, but I, I did I don't know her last name, so I couldn't yeah. find her. So you I just, just put Kaylisa. I just I just said I just kind of like whispered good wishes of happy birthday into thin air and hoped maybe like she got a little twinkle that, you know, in her ear that somebody was talking about her and saying happy birthday. Her, her ears burned a little. Right. Oh man. But yeah, so I hate, I missed that, but I've been in Atlanta, so, man. but I'm going to, I'll party next time I'm there. <laughs> I will party for us. What's going on, Steve? What up, Steve? I hey. sat here last night and went through my box of Power Rangers books and, and organized just see what I have. Cause with the 90s stuff. And I've got some really cool 90s stuff. I don't have near as much of the new stuff anymore. I, I sold a lot of it. Yeah. But um, 
I've got the first appearance of the Green Ranger, the first appearance of the White Ranger. Yeah. I got doubles of those, you know, unless you count the Sentai number two, which a lot of people aren't counting that. So if if Tyler and Wack doesn't get this tattooed on them together at the same time, like I'll be shocked. That should be a video. They should. Tyler do has, or I think Lee should get Tyler sucks tattooed on him. That that logo. Or no, what, Tyler. Tyler. Gets, they should do like they should do like Tenacious D. Get their regular logo tattooed, but Lee should get the Tyler part tattooed on his yes, I was left about to say. cheek. Yeah, and then Tyler and get stick. Lee on his right cheek, and they stick it together. You guys don't do that. You don't have a pair. Not yeah, a pair between the two of you. And I just want um, production credit in in the video. As well. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> da, da, da. Hey, I got a bunch of awesome stickers, man, and I'm about to. I'm about to get um, the sticker company, man. Watch, I'm gonna get them to send me some free stickers. Have you gotten a sticker from Steve? No, Steve doesn't like us. I didn't get a sticker either. He's like our newest subscriber. Well, he was just saying his sticker's bigger, but I mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't seen one. I didn't even get, I couldn't even get a signature on my freaking book I bought. That's right. You know, like I was excited to have something from a friend of mine. Yeah. I was so proud of him for doing that. And all I wanted was just a, a, a mm. you know, a signed copy with not even a, with a dedication not to e me. Not like, even a Bur uh, Burkbo signature. Yeah, I, I wanted all purple. All purple. I wanted it signed to me. I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you what, this guy. And I, I know, I know the face he's making right now too. Stop making that face, Morphin Steve. Time. No, no. Stop making that face, Steve. Bro, we're gonna get to touch JDF this weekend. I'm not gonna touch him. No, I'm making a joke. <laughs> uh, Dustin's gonna sniff him. Another place that I, I just won't go to, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't be impressed probably either. Do, 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 do. You know who I miss is Justin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just if you're watching, we miss you. Uh, hey, have you guys? I will snag one while I'm in town, man. He's full of crap. He's gonna leave him there. Have you guys been enjoying our short films? Have you guys talked about that? Hey, save your gambit. I do have some graded spawn actually, um, and it was a, one of mine was a gift from Josh. Um, Spawn, oh, yeah. spawn number four. four. If it hits like a awesome. million dollars, I'll got sell that it. Awesome violator cover. First violator cover appearance. Yeah. His first appearance was an issue number. There you go. I've read them up to 52 now. Okay. Spawn is really good, by the way. Read it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm joking. I'm not going to sell the. I mean, I honestly, I don't, if that cover ever hit a million dollars, I don't think Josh would blame me for selling it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'd split it with him. So I'm going to do something like this, Beans, because I've got the arcade. And uh, today I actually um, actually purchased a couple of cool posters. Uh, one of them, that's right, we have the original movie poster. So I got that one. So I'm going to hang that up with the arcade. And when I get my TMNT books from CGC, which should be coming in next week, uh, after I do the unboxing video with Hudak, because we're going to do that together, uh, I'm going to hang some of those up over there with the arcade as well. And then I picked up this cool poster, which, you know, you can't see what it is. But uh, if you've ever seen that picture of the guys, they're the iron workers and they're working above the city on that big I beam being held up by the yep. crane eating lunch. So this poster is actually the same thing, but it's got tons of different superheroes. So they homage to that. That's pretty cool. But it's DC characters, Marvel characters, yep. everybody. So I was, I was like, yeah, I'm grabbing that. Plus, you know, most posters I'm going to have in here are going to, they're going to be framed and probably foam boarded and they're going to be vertical. This one was horizontal. Yeah. So I might actually put it behind me or I might put it behind the couch on the other wall. We'll see. Yeah. There's going to be some TMNT stuff for sure. Whoa. Oh, oh, hit the button. Hit what? the button. Hit the button. Oh. Hit the button. One of us. We accept that one of us. Go ahead. Nah, it still pisses me off. Don't do it. <laughs> Shout out to Legal Burning, Mr. Randy Proctor. Proc. I couldn't Thanks, remember his bro. last name. I kept wanting to say something that's not. Appreciate that, Randy. He's joining the Silver Age. And I was literally in the middle of about to shout out the members, guys. So, yeah, that's right. One of us. One of us. One of us. Wolverine thumbs, all that stuff, guys. So, let me tell you guys how 
amazing it is. Like, we cannot appreciate you guys more, okay? We almost didn't even do the members thing because we were like... Yeah. But mm. listen, all of these folks right here, and I want to make sure I get everybody. You know, every single one of these people on this... Dang it, iPhone sucks. All right, so every single one of you guys from Chaos and Comics, Discovery Bay, Bearded Comic Bro, Josh Olive, Do You Have Beans... Uh, Austin LeMay, Adrian Pandawesome, Southern Comic Beat, Kenny Aiken Art, Legion Comics, Flash by Night, Shattered Glass Comics Review, Deep Dive, Burke Family, Comic Book Poser, Kid Reno Prince, B. Ramey, Ruben, uh, Blackout Comics, which I believe is a name change, Tosh Boyden, Flash 6792, CJ Comic Con, Thomas Zorbron... <laughs> Say it. Zarbaninsky. Zarbaninsky. Bo Rivers, Comic by the Cover, Adrian APM, Justin Lewis, Brian Clark, Remy Q Studios, Dirty Ways, Rick Howard, Dan Eckery, Josh Boyden, Four Color Fanboy, Whack Comics, and Now Legal Burning. You guys are seriously, legitimately the best. All of you members, it is, we're literally taking that, putting it right back into the channel. Okay, you guys have allowed us to get new equipment, better equipment, better access to editing and that's what's allowed us to elevate, right? All of these short films, everything we're about to do um, for the future, right? All of these things we've been able to, to put back in and put out to you guys. Uh, and I put like a, it was almost like a blog post, but kind of like a, hey, this is what we're doing on our community post. And I was sitting there and I was like, you know, you guys have allowed us to do that. So we, we really appreciate that, guys. All of the members, you know, from the Bronze Age to the Golden Age. And if we hit... I think it's eight more Golden Age members. We're going to add a second bro box drawing that will put us at 30 Golden Age members. So if you've you know wanted to upgrade or ever wanted to upgrade, we're going to add a second one in there And once we hit to that point. So, guys, legitimately, gracias. Really appreciate it. Thursday when I put that post out, I, I bet you I sat there for an hour and a half writing that. And I was like, I just want you guys to know what we're doing, what we're trying to do. I just do. want so you to know. We you, appreciate I it. I just can't believe you put something out with a misspelled word. What misspelled word? I forget what it was, but you had a misspelled word. I know I capitalized. You guys that. believe him? I know. It was like, by the time I was done writing, it was like midnight and I still had to edit videos. I was I was editing our short film. But but anyways, guys, we appreciate it. Randy, thank you so much. Absolutely, um, man. And so 10K giveaways coming up. And hey, if oh, you ahead. guys aren't following Legal Burning on Instagram, at legal, at legal burning on Instagram. If you guys don't know what Randy does, you guys can go check out a live stream we did with him on our channel called Burning Comic Books. And it is the most fantastic way to do artwork on a sketch cover that you have ever seen. Um, it is so meticulous. I, I saw him post something on one of the Facebook groups and yep. I immediately messaged him and I was like, we have to talk to you. Like, like more people have to know what you're doing. Yep. And just just to these people in these Facebook groups, like at the time we didn't have near the following we do now. Not that we have a big following, but I was I like, think if we're there's three hundred, yeah, I was like, if there's any way like that I can do anything to help get this fantastic art in front of more people's eyes, I want to do that. So make sure you guys go check that video out and follow him on at Legal Burning on Instagram. He literally burns images into sketch covers that will absolutely blow your mind. And uh, I'm so excited with the idea that we've come up with for one that I'm finally going to get done. And uh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> Greg, I need your email, uh, your, your mailing address, man. If you'll send it to me, you want that super chat drawing box. I got to get it out. I got everybody else's, but just a few. And that right there is the greatest thing ever. Greatest thing ever. Um, so do you, do you, do you, do you now? I thought he was going to say something. I only saw Saber. Well, sends me a picture, it. man. Hey, and Beans, thank you for the super chat, man. And uh, I think, do you want to continue the super chat for the month of April? Super chat boxes? Anybody that super chats the online anymore, more, you get entered in for a chance to win a super chat box? Sure. Too much coffee already. There's a, a, a store folio right there if you want to grab it, and you can use a marker and write on it to hold up. <laughs> we'll do it I mean, later. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, anybody that super chats a dollar ninety nine or more at the end of the night will do a drawing, and you get entered in to win a super chat box. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of, you know – random books from 616 exclusives so <laughs> but uh so let's talk about something we have coming up very soon this coming weekend the huntsville pop culture and comic expo two brothers comics the official official media team 
for the Expo. Or we got suckered into it one way or another. The only media team for the Expo. Yes. I don't care if you're out here hitting 10K, 12K. Yep. You're not the media team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we're going to be there doing the – we're going to be putting together their post-production. Well, I guess, I guess not necessarily a post-production, but their post-event uh, video for them. Uh, we're going to be doing several What's videos. Up, bro? Hey, your birthday was here soon recently, right? Was it today, tomorrow, yesterday? Yeah, that's right. You did let, say your birthday was coming. Let, when's your birthday? Was it tomorrow? That, or was it today? Or was it yesterday? Could it be the day after He tomorrow? said it was this weekend coming up. I he did. I remember. Yeah. Let us Happy know you, birthday, man. Regardless. He'll sing to you. Happy we'll get birthday. the whole chat to sing to you if it's today or tomorrow. We'll get the, we'll get the, we'll get the guitar, the and I've got the guitar sitting right in the other room. At this we'll, point, we've gone off the rails. I showed up late. Yeah. Came in here just being loud and obnoxious. And, and I drank the whole cup. This is my third coffee today. Did you stop for me on the way over here? I do not have a wallet, actually. So he, he ruined my tobacco today. And I did. then didn't even bring me some back when I asked him to. This oh, I did bring you tobacco. Well, it's not tobacco. I uh, Kevin sent you a whole bunch of uh, Zins. See, there's some new stuff coming out. And they're three. So I got you uh, – Five packs of each, I think, in a roll. Okay, cool. So I know it's not, like, great, but. Uh, the ninth. Okay, the ninth. so next weekend. It'll next week. Next Friday, the first day of us being at the uh, expo. So, so oh, are we going to we'll do send a you a video, man. We'll send you a video. I don't know. It depends on how late we yeah, get it, Yeah, it depends on how late because I think either Friday or Saturday night we're supposed we to go, go out with everybody. Should we sing to him anyways? Or you want to wait? We'll send him a video from the con. Okay. We'll send him a video from the con. But yeah, we, we, we're, we're supposed to go out with everybody, uh, all the uh, YouTube folks that come to the con next weekend, either Friday or Saturday night. We're all going to go out. Dustin's going to try to get JDF to come. and, and No, I'm not. And no, talk. I'm not. He's going to sniff him? I've already met the guy. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-oh. What's going on, man? How are you doing? Mr. Travis. Good to I'm see sorry. You, man. No government names. I, I'm learning. Comics with Bueller, how are you doing, sir? <laughs> hey, when did that exclusive hit, man? So we can talk about. It. I haven't seen anything else since that one video, and we're like, he's gonna the guy with the blowtorch, or it wasn't a blowtorch, no, was flamethrower. Yeah, so, yeah. Travis, tell us more about the thing. About the thing. A roll, <laughs> a roll on me and touch strong. Yeah. Strong Kong. I mean, I don't know where you're buying your dip, bro. I mean, it's like thirty dollars out here, but I. Damn sure appreciate that. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the second anybody else does, man, they could have sent 50 cents in and I feel like you're gonna end up losing it. <laughs> April right, 14th. 14th. Cool. Whenever it happens, man, it's sold out. Sold out like the WCW pay-per-view for you know the what 90s. that means he just needs to up his orders. We're he did. He got a lot more this time than he did the first one. Mm. I'm just saying, I would oh, be taking it easy, too. You don't want to get stuck with those things. Uh, you know people love Bueller. Do they? People love Bueller. I thought it was Bob. You know, Bob. <laughs> I'm, I was about to say something about him being the more attractive one, but I can't do it like him. <laughs> I just can't. Um, Bob does have better taste in comics. We can say that. Canto. Yeah. Although, I will say the greatest moment... In two two greatest moments is the fact that Travis couldn't open up that box that just had some super glue on it, <laughs> and but the best moment is eating eating chalupas while reading Canto. Greatest thing ever. Oh, um, okay, I got you, Panda. I got you, bro. Go ahead and keep going. Panda just sent me something I have to look at. But um, oh, man, so oh, but good stuff, man. I'm I'm glad to hear it, Travis. Um, Bo uh, Bueller, I'm glad to hear it, man. Um. Bob is way more attractive. I don't know about that, man. But but anyway, so the Huntsville Comic Pop Culture and Expo, we're going to be there. We're going to be there Friday, Friday morning. We're going to get there and actually do our hunting and stuff. And then we're going to basically start that afternoon, hopefully, uh, and throughout the day with interviews, hoping to get with Jim Shooter, maybe try JDF, but it's not likely because of the way he does his stuff. Yeah, I see. Um, and um, a lot of really cool names there in comics, so that will be cool. And we have – like I got a crane, a camera crane. I have a new gimbal, a slider. So we're going to put together some amazing stuff. We're planning to get with some folks from cosplayers. Uh, and then again, we're going to be doing that whole post-production or post-event video for him. Um, and then maybe he'll give us like, I don't know, what do you think, like Captain America number one? He does have an FF number one he could give us. Yeah, he does. I don't think it'll happen. But all those big books at the beginning of our intro, that actually came from his booth, um, Jeremy. So, uh, but right on. And then... 
Anything else you want to add? So if you're going to the expo, hit us up. Let us know. It's this weekend at the Hunts or at the Huntsville Von Braun Center. Oh my God, where did that come from? Oh, I sent him one. Yeah, dude, show it, show it. I sent him one. I had to sneak it in there. There we go. I love it. That went. That that had to go in a bro box to one of those folks. Horrid. I love it. I still got two more. Horrid. <laughs> I'm going to try to get Jim Shooter to sign that. Um, Ryan will be there. Hey, Ryan, co our guest, appeared in one of our – A couple of them. Yeah, well, I'm just about the one that came out today. Yeah. Um, or, or earlier this week. Um, Bueller said he saw it. So if you saw that video, it's uh, FOMO, uh, never miss a key. And then if you caught the color scheme and stuff <laughs> and what we did with the, the cell phone and stuff, like you, you probably understand the concept of 80 keys a week and – um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and got the message out of it a little bit, but it was just kind of some funny humor, Dustin dressed up and I did some amazing camera and editing. Work, yeah. I must say all the directing, the ideas, that was all me. Yeah. Okay. That whole thing was my idea. Idea. And then I produced, I got the shots. It was a good tag team. We you, don't have to, we you don't have produced to produce it. I directed it though. No. I, I went so off and started doing my own thing on stuff and it was like, whoa, whoa, whoa I don't like that. And then, he was like, hold on, let me look at it. He's like, oh, no, that was actually really good. because yeah, you Well, there's some of the stuff I didn't use, but, yeah, it got a little weird. <laughs> when I went back and we snatched were, that second cover off the stack, I was like, Nick had no idea that was coming. And then he was like, oh, actually, that's actually really funny. It just looked good in frame. So April 17th and 18th will be that wrong. <laughs> wrong oh, Greenville, South Carolina Comic Con. Oh, okay. April 17th and 18th. That's the next weekend after our con. Nope. Yeah, sorry, we can't come. No, not allowed. But I do want to go to some more this year. Yeah, like, and I if think, they happen, we need to go. Yeah, I think we'll be able I, to. I was talking to Will and uh, Jason about, excuse me, uh, Big Will and Southern Comic Geek. Didn't mean to throw those government names out there, Chris. Um, but uh, they were actually telling me, like, Dragon Con actually is a good one for comics because a lot of people don't go for the comics. Now, Atlanta, Atlanta Comic Con itself, there's Atlanta Comic Con, then there's Dragon Con. Yeah. Man. Um, Atlanta Comic Con... It, they had a lot of vendors up there, and uh, they didn't have it last year. They didn't have anything out here last year, of course. But see, Ryan said watching Nick in action is pretty awesome. You're right, man. It is. I'm just kidding. No, Ryan honestly was awesome. Enjoyed hanging out with him. He was so cool to be with. And I wanted to, like if you watched the video that guy at the beginning, did you notice the end? I put a credit. It was like random. Yeah, guy random at the guy. End. At the <laughs> had end, no yeah. clue what was happening. Well, just hey, dude. Like, I don't understand. Like, what's stopping you yeah, from, dude. from coming to Huntsville next week? Just next Hop week. Hop in the car. You and you bring Justin Birch with you. Yeah, there you go. Nah, Justin can't come. No, he can't. He's 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 locked for yeah. that. He's got more important things to deal with. I'm pretty sure it probably did, man. They're not gonna do anything in Atlanta. They don't, they pulled the freaking All Star game out of Atlanta, bro. Like, we're not getting anything out here. <sighs> no, not for a minute. I don't think. Hopefully next year, though. That'll give us some some time to get some smaller cons under us and. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, it'll be cool, man. And then go if well, if you leave the con, go to Haven Comics and buy everything off his wall. Hold on, I think you've gotten everything you want. I think I did get everything I want off his wall. So yeah, go go take care of the rest of the stuff. Rose City <laughs> Comic Con. When is that? And Portland is a long way away, and Dustin will not fly. However, I will get my butt on the plane. And eh, don't worry about that. You're fine. Just come on, man. Here, tra click on Travis. Come to Rose City Comic Con, hang out with the Portland Comic Crew. My house is wide open. But see, he won't go. He won't fly. He will not fly. I mean, I'll drive, though. I don't care. Do you, you understand how far that is? Somebody Google I drove maps. all the way to New Jersey no. in one day, went to a wedding, and turned around and came back the next day. Josh. No, Southern Comic Geek, show up at Haven, buy everything off his wall. <laughs> Josh is like, no, because prices are too expensive to restock right now. Don't do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, I was like, others, like, all that matters is, is getting that money, homie. Pay but, the bills. But Greg, in all seriousness, though, like last year when it was the most rampant, there was zero reports afterwards of any issues. Uh Jeremy does a very good job keeping everybody safe and, and stuff like that. So yeah. um yeah. Anyways, I'll be wearing my unkind mask, so I'll be masked up. Uh, I see. I'm not sure if we should wear shirts and stuff the first morning. Why? We should dress up and go on incognito so we can actually hunt and stuff. Let's just 
let's just go in there. I'll put the hair on. I don't care. I thought about it. Like, let's just go in and like, I wanted to dress up like Murph from the first episode of Practical Jokers in the White Castle outfit. Like, if I was certain he they mm-hmm. were going to be there, I would have bought the White Castle outfit. And then, and then you could have been Mustache. Remember Mustache? <sighs> but I, I figured they would cancel because they're just now recording the next season. But, um, but yeah. All right, on. Terrific on. Uh, man, flying was one of my biggest fears till I, same here. And then I had to start doing it for my day job uh, a few years ago, and I was gone all the time. It's really cool, actually. Um, yeah, I have no desire. So that's all good. Um, so what else happened this week? Uh, Marvel just pulled the plug on all the Predator stuff. So that What's sucks. Up? What's up? What's up, Nick the Comic Nerd? Did they really? Doing? Yep. So they're not doing anything further with that right now. Like the comics aren't coming out? Yep. So I guess Alien well, did. Good. Good. Because I pre-ordered like two or three of them. And I was like, I don't want that. I yeah. want the Alien one. They should, um, they should pull the plug on Alien too. Let those actually go to somewhere. There were some serious people what the heck frustrated. Is, what is Disney going to do with Predator and Alien? I don't know. Make them have babies. I don't know. Like, give it to somebody that actually is going <laughs> to do damn. well with it. Uh, you should dress as walnut. There's a second Nick. <laughs> hmm. um, what else? There was something else that happened this week I was going to talk about. Uh, John Romita Jr. is going back to Marvel, which I know a lot of people are happy about, or they don't actually like John Romita Jr. What's up, man? Uh, which was honestly, I was, I was kind of shocked that John Romita Jr. got such a negative reception. People were very upset that he was coming back to Marvel. Where was you're he at? DC. Unless you're a DC fan, and then people were like, no, get John Romita Jr. Away DC from. has fans? <laughs> you know what? I wasn't aware. Did something happen? Does anybody know why DC comic books don't appreciate and value, like, almost next – like, honestly. Well, apparently because their other movies than, suck. Other than Silver Age first appearances. Like, their like, movies suck. Nothing the does only good thing, for them. The only thing that keeps pushing Marvel is the movies and the idea of, oh, my gosh, what if they do a movie yeah. on this person? Like, I have so many new comic book day. Um, Can first I talk of, about something real quick? Hold on. Okay. You, just from, you. you go ahead. No, just go ahead. Just remind me to talk about Thundercats. Just remind me to talk about Thundercats. Oh, that's insanity. Hey, sit up just a hair so we're both in focus. It's the camera, not you. Right, so go ahead. Yeah. Um, but that's my thing that I think it, it's got to be because it's just, everything with Marvel, like if they weren't doing the MCU, I don't see these books having the same value. Well, and, and to be honest with you, I, yeah. Like Why previous, is X-Men going up so previous. much? Because people are waiting yeah. on them to come to the theater. But then there's a lot of folks coming back in um, um, that are really just getting the comic books to buy and flip and have – like no interest in comics. It's more of this new investment thing that everybody's doing with trading cards and stuff. And that's driving the market pretty hard. I think uh, let's not start on that one. Let's not, let's not start. Let's not. So what I think about LeBron James and what I think about the new space jam, <laughs> they, they destroyed Lola bunny. Dude, I'm looking for Thundercats. But number one, Friday morning, by the way, I cannot believe they did, did that. And that, that was just horrible. Okay, so Thundercats, number one. So <laughs> literally the day before it happened, I don't know if anybody caught it. I posted on our story. I said no, you did. Thundercats is about to go nuclear. Because you just bought it. No. Because you sold it. No. Oh, you just randomly? No, I, I knew that something was coming. Oh. I didn't know it was going to be the next day, but I knew Actually, something was coming. I could coming. go in and look at our past so, things. So literally the next day, Thundercats is selling for like two grand. Who bought that? If you're watching this right now and you paid two grand for a 9 8 Thundercats because they announced a movie because you're trying to get ahead of the spec, bro. And that goes for male or female, bro. You did too. Look right here. I got it right here. Yeah, bro. You are too late. If you're trying to get it before it gets hot, you're the one that got got. Okay. He did it too. And I can't get the date to pull up, but yeah, it was. You're the one that gets that got got if you're purchasing it for that price, because in January it wasn't even going for like five hundred dollars. I don't think y'all have to pay attention. Pay attention. We don't do a spec talk, but I'm gonna tell you right now. If they if they drop the pra- the, the, the the trailer or they start talking about the movie and you ain't got it. You're the one that got you're the one that paid the spec price. Look, people got on here and started going to our profile and looking when she posted that. I guess they were looking for like news or something about it. 
<laughs> and nothing yeah. has come out yet. That's pretty good. Like, like I want to like like I want to do something about that one day. Like because yeah. like you know it's the we same should do a thing. FOMO video on it. I mean it's the same thing with um I forget what it was, but uh oh my gosh I can't remember what it was. I mean the white vision thing. Like like if you bought that West Coast Avengers forty five that Friday or after that Friday. You're the one that paid the spec price. <laughs> like you ain't getting in on anything early. And there not. are some books that you know maybe you should do that on, like a Hulk 181. Now, yeah, it's gonna keep going up. Well, That's yeah, it. but I mean, like, but like talking about stuff. five cent book, right? Yeah. That Power you know, Rangers number. That us. Power Rangers number one. If you're thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna get in on this one now before they reboot everything, bro. They announced that reboot last summer <laughs> right. that they were redoing everything. They've already rebooted and redone yeah. it all. That book is. That book ain't never gonna stay so, at 700. So, so new rule of thumb: if you're on eBay and it says movie announced, HTF, eggplant emoji, or fire emojis, just don't buy it this month or next month. Wait a couple months; they'll be out there. Okay, unless it's like Hulk 181s and stuff like those are not gonna. Be <laughs> That's funny. I'm telling you right now, he ain't keeping that belt. I don't care that Nick. Tell it. Tell him newbie ain't got a chance. You just better hope he don't spend more money than you did. He can't. What's up, B. Ramey? Good to what see up, you, man. What up, Ramey? We just shouted you out. I, I was, I was, I, hey. I jokingly told uh, B. Ramey and Panda with like when when I saw the Thundercats yeah. st stuff and all that, I was like, I was like, we are going to change our our motto, our credo from "collect your way" because people have obviously proven that they're not <laughs> responsible enough to collect their way. They're not like, geeking responsibly. Like there, <laughs> the, the responsibility is not there. And at this point, I don't I don't feel okay with us using our, our logo our, our slogan anymore. See, look, <laughs> Ryan knows about the fire emojis and HTFs. <laughs> no, dude, on all my eBay postings, I'm gonna start putting eggplant emojis. Oh my gosh. Like, why not? <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Um, that's right, uh, Joe. Uh, FOMO. And and check out that video we did with the FOMO stuff, because that's yeah, exactly what yeah. it was about. Yeah, I mean Greg just, said he felt attacked on the phone. <laughs> he, he's uh, not in the comment, but I read one on the video. He said, "I feel attacked by this video." <laughs> um, yeah. oh, oh, yeah, that's right. So B. Ramey's doing King some James boxes. is my friggin' behind. Let me get that. Too. King Crybaby is what he is. He's a he, he's a a two hundred and seventy pound titty baby is what he is. Oh, that's a little much. What? You gotta be careful with some words. YouTube will get us. Well, they gonna, if they want to get us, they're going to get us anyway. But no, just you just got to pay. And I know the people that are in the chat right here. Like, I know the majority of you guys already know the game. But, yeah, just pay attention. Like, you, you if you want to have something but what are you to, gonna do? to spec on it, you can't wait until the trailer happens. And that's when people you can't sell. even wait until somebody's announced to play the character. You know what I mean? Like, it's too late. Bearded, so you walk in with the app on your phone and, and buy everything on the app because that's what it was. <laughs> that's what I was doing. I was making like I'm I'm buying all the keys that key collector said was a key that week. That's why I was scrolling the phone. You saw me scrolling the camera. By the way, that was an unflattering angle of you. Yeah, and it didn't work either with the scroll. No, thing. if you look, so you were scrolling before and after. Oh, okay. But I cut it pretty like yeah. it was supposed to because that was a, a really weird angle of you. No. Why? Um, C list, what's up, man? Good to see you. Thanks for jumping in. What do the comics with Bueller say? I'm, it must not be there yet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and to be honest, in full disclosure, so the, the books so we sent, we sent Bueller and Iron Man one, and we did so because he honestly, from like you know. Day two, he was one of our biggest supporters, and <laughs> and we got to a thousand, um, right? So we got to a thousand. You know, he really helped push us, and we always wanted to do something. And like you asked Bueller what he collects, and he's like, "Oh, blah, blah, blah. what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do?" So I had good mind to send him a Canto one, and I thought, well, let's not do that. And he was on a live stream, and because that's HTF fire emoji, fire emoji, fire plant. emoji, right now. Yeah, and so I was like. Uh, he was doing something on his Travis T channel. And if you like to watch Bueller live, he does a lot on his Travis T channel. And I was like, so what are you looking for? What is a big book? And he dropped Iron Man one. I was like, dad gummit. He would come up with one of the, like, and see that, that made me like, I, I thought it was funny that you like, I, that was, 
something I've known. Like he's talked about that I multiple just didn't times. Know like, yeah, like that had gotten away from him like he did. But yeah. but anyways, like when I held it in my yeah, hand, he was just a little too late on it. Like he's in the shop yeah. and dude sold it out from under him before he get back yeah. to the table. But like that's why I don't I think held it in my it. hand and I was like, man, I really don't want to say this. <laughs> Cause it was I really, really, really like that book, man. But I spent a lot of time Greg, working on that not box. Not at all, man. I, I'm with you a thousand percent, bro. I don't know if you were here earlier when I showed it. And we're just joking with you, Greg. We know. What's no, up? I'm saying like like me and Greg have have that that little niche that we both enjoy. What's up, Alex? You yeah. know what I'm saying, Greg? Like I'm right there with you. You already know that one hundred percent, man. I'm gonna send my whole comic book that up this week. I'm gonna send my whole collection to Alex so he can do Alex, one of his, the comic book hoarder. so he can do one of his uh, auctions, man. And somebody's just gonna walk in and just buy it all. He got that nine point eight X Men Annual fourteen this week. Look at one of them too, man. What's up, Chaos? How you doing, Senor? Good to see you, man. Ch shouted you out a little bit earlier. I have no clue. What see, see, I, I knew that would get a couple folks excited, especially you, Greg. I had Darkwing Duck on last Sunday morning. I found that for five bucks. Whoa! Yesterday. I didn't know that, man. My sister bought me one Christmas. It turned out to be stolen. I had to return it. Oh, mm. that's pitiful, dude. Mm. That hurts my feelings. But you got one now mm -hmm. in a glued up box. You got one now, son. What you should do, Bueller, is if you send an AOK -okay to somebody, just. Put it in the box. Okay. By the way, that was some like pro level packaging because I wrapped every like you couldn't even see the bubble wrap. And then just put a little dot of super glue and they'll be like, oh no, it's empty. I was this close to picking up a super pro issue number one for five bucks yesterday in the five dollar oh, bin, yeah. but the cover was detached and I was like, nah. But I mean, I was about to do it. I was about to do it. <laughs> Dan's like, I'll take a first print of the skill the children number one. Hey, me too. If anybody's got one, like I'll definitely take one because look at this. That's a book I thought was in my collection and then I can't when i it. went to send some stuff to cgc i couldn't find it i was like did i not buy this book i could have swore i had it yeah. that's one series like i've made sure that i'll you know but i didn't I don't so know. and i had all of them and i couldn't find the jenny frizzen one right i still don't understand how you don't have gone and couldn't find it i i think i put it in a lot like a few weeks after or something when we were doing those eb auction eb or eb yeah online. you might have i bet you I, I bet you probably went to somebody like tina or something which if it went to tina great um but um but yeah so like before everything went big like i don't want to say big but i want to say nuclear i made a deal with the local comic shop you're welcome um, that what's, up, Swaggle House? <laughs> yeah, what's up Swaggle House? what's up man Swaggle House? Sw 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 say that Swaggle Halls. Um, hoss. That's what that, hoss. that's how you spell it. Hoss. All right. Hoss. If you don't know what a hoss is, I'm a hoss. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> you can't be a midget and be a hoss. I'm going to show you. I'll show you exactly how you can be. I um, promise you in like, like eight months, you will, you will know exactly how that works. Look, I'm going to get jacked again. <laughs> What's up, C list? Yeah, I mean, I never, never Dude. even worried about it because I swore I had one in my box. I know with the rest of them, but that's the one but, I don't uh, have. But yeah, I made a deal with um, local comics, Dustin's local comic shop owner. You know, he hooked us with a lot of stuff for our, our uh, giveaway. So I said, hey, like, hook Nash up with this book, a little bit of cash and that. And you know bro, what, Chris? I have been looking, and I, I don't think I have forgot about you because I, I have. It's actually been on in, on my mind. I promise you. Just trying to find something. See, chaos is like you guys. No, Dustin's redoing his room. Yeah. Um, and I told him we need to put something like yeah, something. What I've been doing all week is this. There we go. Yeah, like right there's where he <laughs> normally does it with the thing, but he's yeah, repainted. I, ri I ripped down the paneling and the slabs and all. You believe I got somebody to just come pick that paneling up for free? I put it I on Facebook. Got it. I put it on Facebook for free, and I had like twenty five people hit me up. Yeah. Those ratty shelves that were up there, somebody came pick those yeah, up. For sure. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was gonna have to haul that stuff off. Yeah. I've enjoyed just recording out of my little corner in the office, man. Pop open the camera. It doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look great. Doesn't look terrible. I get a little natural sunlight on me. Get some tan. <sighs> Honestly, I'm super excited about the Suicide Squad tra uh, video. I'm more excited for King Shark. I, I think they ruined King Shark. That's that's literally what he's supposed to be. I, I don't think he looks menacing though at all. Oh, he's he. 
okay. Because um, I was looking at stuff from like the way they did him in the. I saw some show how they did him like in the video, video game, game and this like like how they did him in the video game. That's how they should do it. But that may not match the tone. Of I'm the telling game. you right now, it's ten fifty. Tiger shot. Tiger shark will stomp King Shark's ass in the ground. It's ten fifty. It's not mi midnight. That's not how that works. Yeah, like how I did that. Uh, Tiger Shark would stomp him into the I ground. I genuinely like the way he looked. Did you buy the first parent yet? You better go get it, man. You better go get it. It's a DC book. It'll be. It'll, it's a, probably going to go backwards. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I've been in the same room ever since I started. Like I've never been out of a different room. I've, I had different sets set up in here, though. Yeah, so I put the J channels up for yeah. Josh at his shop. Yeah, yep, I've seen yeah, I've seen that too. I've got those um I've just got pollen or something in my nose. It's, it's bad itching. out here right now. I know, man. Peacemaker I've never bought Peacemaker did look cool and there was a scene in the trailer where he goes, "I love peace." And he goes, "I don't care how many men, women and children it takes me to kill them to get it, but I love peace." Or something like yeah. that. And I was like, "Oh, that's funny. I hate John Cena, so I, I, he's such a just terrible actor. Like the dude is I think even... he's going to hit his stride in this movie. Like I can see, like where he, that, he's where did that book like go? comedically? Yeah, I can see him being better in a comedic role. But when he serious. tries to be serious, no, he he's be. so just horrible. Okay, but pull out the book you showed earlier. That man who is now the highest paid actor ever in history. Oh, The Rock. Yeah, I know. So give him some time. But mm -hmm. I think, and that's what he's trying to do. The OG setup with the curtains, <laughs> <laughs> where I just I had a TV entertainment center behind me. Yeah. And a gray wrinkled curtain there. But I had all my long, short boxes beside me. Like, I've always tried to make do with what I could. But I, I can do a little yeah. better now. Financially, can put a little more into it. So, I'm going to set up a, a nice, uh, really cool man cave up here. We're going to do our first room tour. Not Nick, but me. Yeah, Nick's room garage, tour like, would just be like, okay. <laughs> I can't even move the look, camera. Look behind me. Yeah, I mean, same here. Because it would be, there's my water heater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what, guys? I sit out in the heat or the cold for a year. Yeah. I mean, all that matters is what that that, that framed up That's part right. looks like. I'm telling you guys. We and I, I took before pictures of this entire yeah. room. So we can do before and afters. Yeah. And you guys will see, like, literally. You should show off your mystery box, by the way. <laughs> I recorded a video on that. But you know what? I don't know. Maybe we should just. I don't. Look, where's it at? And I want to see okay. my slab, too. So before we say anything, I want you to just show the books yeah. and just ask people how much they yeah. pay for. And we're not going to mention box. where it came from, but yeah, um, garbage. Sorry, but yeah, where where I do my recording at now, like I didn't even paint everything. I just painted what was going to be in the frame. So no, sorry, uh, box down there on the bottom, the white box with no lid. That's your slab. Oh, cool. And this is what came in your box. Yeah. Sorry, we didn't have Justin sit to here to uh, talk about what we were doing here. Talk about what we were talking about? Yeah. I've had way too much coffee. Do you think your wife would bring me a tea? <laughs> Is she oh. still up? No, I'm joking. Like, oh, okay. Dustin, how many of these do you have? What? I thought you were going to... That's all my uh, pre-screen stuff there. I actually have another one. Uh, I thought I had one. can't find it. I, had an, I have another one that I bought from Hudat. One of those is the one I bought from Dave last year when we went. I bought the other one at my LCS a couple weeks ago for 15 bucks, and then I got a four and a number five from Hudat for 45 because nobody bro, did. Bro, 250 I paid for this. 225 actually. <clears throat> well, now yeah. how are you going to sell it? See, look. That is disgusting. I didn't even want to touch it, dude. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That is just. Here. Hold on. Yeah. Sit this on the wall. Sit this on the ground. <laughs> Guys. Easy because there, there's yeah, some of that's going to be giveaways for our bro box. Honest opinions. Call your friends. Call your wives. We need them in here right now to give us their opinions. I need, I need literally, if you're watching this right now, okay, I need you to, when I tell you I'm done, this is a mystery box. When I tell you I'm done, I just need you to put in the chat, yes or no. Do you think that this meets the qualifications for a $100 mystery box? And it supposedly has a grand prize in it. $100 grand prize winning mystery box. Okay. All right. Here are the books. Um, that's how, This is how they came. 
No back or no board. Okay. Awesome hobgoblin cover. The only thing I like I said in the video, I dig Spidey villains. Hobgoblin's one of them, but I mean, it's a web of Spider Man dollar bin book. Doesn't one, even have a board. One hundred dollar mystery box. Okay, here we go. Uh, and this is from somebody that has a huge following. Quite frankly, New Mutants number seven. Can we, can we? It's not a nice book or anything. It's it's beat up, but I mean. And and I'll show you how these were packaged too. Like, hold on, wait till we're done. Wait till I'm, we're done showing it all off. All right, just wait. And I'll show you how they were packaged up too, because I can't believe everything is didn't get destroyed. No, I threw it away. Mm. Uh, this is probably the nicest looking book in the whole thing, as far as bag and board goes. Defenders eighteen. It's the only one that has a decently clean bag and board that didn't feel like I was going to catch something. And as I quote, some of these came from a crack house. Batman five seventy. Yeah, I was told these came out of a crack house. Batman 570. Apparently, this is like the second Harley Quinn in continuity, but it's nowhere near the second Harley Quinn. So, I so don't buy Dustin that was about to freak out. I'm like, just chill. And yeah. then he showed me this stuff. Hold on, hold on. Let's keep going. <sighs> My blood pressure. X Men 196. And candid, candidly, none of these are good quality. No, not even a little. Like high, higher grade, uh, ASM 242, and it is not Comic Tom or anybody, yeah, on YouTube. It's Majority Instagram. of you guys probably don't know who it is, but yeah, look at this bag and there, board. There's, there's a video, like, like it's trashed. There's a we're gonna, there's a video we're gonna drop on it too, yeah, no, of me actually unboxing and them not knowing what's inside. Dustin reached out and was like, Hey, bro, like, you know. This is like this maybe. is like second or third volume. I, it took me almost an hour to find this book because it was I couldn't even figure out what it was. So uh, here we go. X Men one ninety seven. It's a Doom cover. No backer board. Just waving in the wind. <laughs> Jim should be embarrassed. It wasn't Jim. No. All right. Now this one was in this nasty bag and board, but I did not even want the book in the board any bag and board anymore. Uh, this was one of the biggest books in here. All yes. right. Now, let me show you a couple things. One, it's 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 got a hole going oh, through it. On Cap's chin right here, there's a hole going through the book. Um, I mean, it's torn at the bottom, torn there. So torn we're showing at the off. top. What's up, missing leak? Look at the back. Look at. I mean, if the light hits this thing right, you, you can see like. It looks like somebody, there you go. It looks like somebody wrote a novel using this to bear down on. Yeah. And it's, I mean, that was, that was the second best book in here. All right. Now this is the, the, the supposed grand prize uh, for this hundred dollar mystery box. Okay. Bugs in the bag and board. Yeah. Like I pulled a dead spider off of this that was stuck to the other one. And this was, uh, this was what I got. Okay. You now, can see, and this camera doesn't do it like, like you may say like, oh, that's first apocalypse. Yeah, well, I mean, and look at this. Near Mint is like a $30 book. Yeah, Near Mint, this book goes for like $35, $40 at most. It is destroyed. $100. Okay, look at the back, bro. It has been literally soaking in water top to bottom. Terrible, terrible condition. I, I literally don't think I could get like 15 bucks. For, I wouldn't even feel comfortable I selling. Five. I mean, look at look how, look, you can see. I it, have a gorgeous copy I got for 30 Look at bucks. it when the light hits it, how dinged yeah. up and bent. And I mean, it looks like somebody just was like, oh. So that's a $100 okay. mystery box. So $100 mystery box here. In the chat, I want to see everybody. Yes or no, is this a fair $100 mystery box? What's going on, TM Nerdy? What's up, Eric Durant? They should have just Missing threw a hundred dollar bill out your window. I might as well have, right? But but yeah. So we um. I'm so glad you didn't uh, too, Adrian. And I apologize so much for even bringing it up to you, man. I would have. Found, you were the first person I was thinking about. I had to go back and make sure you didn't buy one. I was going to reimburse you. So this dude, we reached out to him, and he basically came back and said, "Well, just because you make YouTube videos, I'm not going to give you a." Because look, I'll tell you guys what I said when I hit him up. Yeah. Uh, and, and we've, we've spoken to this guy uh, quite we often. We spent a bunch of money with we, him on raffles. Yeah, we've done raffles with the guy, which I've still got one that hasn't been filled or run after like three months. But that's I've not, already paid for it. But 
you know, I was like, you know what? Like I mystery box. I've only done one. Let me do another one. It was for content. And that's what I told him. I was like, you know, I said, Hey, I like, I'm going to use this for a video. I was like, I haven't done but one mystery box. So when people say, Hey, see that Dustin's doing another mystery box, it'll get views. And, uh, I so said, maybe don't send bugs in your bags. And forth, yeah. Basically. So I said, just make sure it's, you know, like, like all you like, have to do is new bags and forth. good for your advertising. Like, yeah, like this was what I was talking about. Like, just make sure it presents well, because this will be good advertising for you because I will make sure to mention you put your link in there. Like I'm pulling the cover, you know, so, and this is, this is what I get. And then I'm the bad guy. I'm like, bro, I wasn't like doing this. Cause I want the grand grand prize was an ASM 300. You know what I would have done with that? I would have sold the crap out of it. Cause I don't care about that book. So like, that wasn't my concern, but Dustin reached out to him very nice and said, Hey, here's some feedback after reaching out to several other people in the community yep. to see what they thought I should do that. I know do mystery boxes and do them well. Yeah. So, but he basically came back and said, you know, just because you guys do YouTube videos, I'm not going to just rig it. Nobody wanted you to rig it. We just, you know, clean bags of boards. And I was like trying to get tossed in a chill. I'm like, nah, dude, just chill. It's not. Oh, my God, Dan. <laughs> and I saw this. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but yeah. And like, you know what? That's what. And, and this honestly trusted seller. I mean, I thought we thought and we thought. But reached out and basically he said some of them came from a cracks house and we should key collect them because they're keys. And I key collected them and no. Nah. And let's be quite frank, one key. What I was told was I thought this was a great box that you picked, which means he knew what was in it already. Like that's not how you do mystery boxes, yeah. to my knowledge. Like, you know, you package them all up and then people pick random numbers. You don't put them together after people pick the numbers. Yes. There was there was bags on the boards. Some of them there were shipped with no backer boards. Yeah. Um we should run an auction, like a fake auction. How much would you spend on that? Right. But and then I was told, you know, you got a grand prize. You got the first apocalypse. I'm like, bro, like you realize like X-Men 1 from 1993 yeah. is pretty much worth more than that one is now. I mean, like this book. X-Men 4 even, is. Yeah. Like this book is nothing, dude. But yeah, so there's bags and boards. Um, It was. And, and after I saw it. Then I was the one that was pissed. Yeah. I'm like, show no, the that. show that um the 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 that's the it was the that was the back of the board right on the back. Yeah. So yeah, there's like dead bugs inside of here, and there was literally a dead spider or something squished on this somewhere that it was like I had to pull it away from another yeah. one, and then the bug just like right off the bag. So we'll put the video out there and do it kindly, but hey. You got it, bro, because I'm already putting some stuff together for you anyway. So you got it. Yeah, pretty much, Adrian, pretty much. I wouldn't have given 15 bucks for everything in here. Like my thoughts were like, I'm literally like, I would not put this stuff in the bro box to send no. to these people for free. My saber tooth drawing is better than this. April um, Fool's box, 100%. But seriously, though, it was really messed up. And, like, Dustin went about it the right way. Like, hey, here's some feedback. I mean, I wouldn't have been mad about a hair. Like, it, that happens. But, like, you just go into some supposedly, literally, I was told, went into a crack house and bought these books and then just put them right on in. Like, and the way they were shipped, okay, here's the deal. And you'll see in the video when it comes out. These Hold things on. were I'm literally. This to you. These literally. things were like this, okay? Okay. So that, that is how they like sticking out all over the place, sandwiched between two tiny pieces of cardboard shipping and just taped. I got a crap. picture. I got a video. I'll put it. So this is what it says. It says Dustin's response. Uh, hey, I got my box today. I have to say it was really disappointing. I understand the point of the boxes that are not will have a GP and I'm good with that. However, I don't think there was even $30 <laughs> worth of books in there and they were beat up pretty bad. Even pulled a couple of bugs off them. Just wanted to give you some feedback. So legitimately Dustin was very kind with that. Cause I, he said he responded. I'm like, Oh, y'all know how Dustin is. Okay. I, I, I will commit. I'll take commissions <laughs> anyways. And then his response back was, what are you talking about? You had the first appearance of apocalypse and a bunch of other books. It's also a GP. I wasn't going to rig the box. So you win because you make YouTube videos. I always do everything as fair as possible. That's disappointing. Cause I thought you picked a good box. Like, Key collect some of the books you got, which any if you start off with key collect anything, no, I'm done. And then it says also got the books from a crackhead's house, lol. So that's what he had. I appreciate the feedback. And we just didn't respond. I was going to, and I'm like, no. You told me you got the books from a crackhead's house and couldn't even bother bags and boards and hundred dollars. We need that. 
That's I'm, literally what I did with this stack of books at the end of the video. I'm getting so frustrated. I picked the whole it. stack of books up after I stopped recording. And I was, you know, because I talked to you afterwards. I picked the books up and I said, wow. And I said a whole lot of cuss words. A whole lot of cuss words. Like, honestly, very disappointing to see. Because um, you guys know, like I always talk about, I don't like to gamble. But I was just like, you know, and this, this, dude's this cool. guy, I mean, seriously, like, has always been very front and kind. Right. I was like, I know I'll at least get my money's worth. And yep. that's what I told my wife. I was like, hey, like, I'll get my money's worth at least. And I was like, he's he's always like, like good books out the yin yang yeah. all the time. And uh, I was like, you know, I should be able to get my money's worth. No problem. And she was like, OK, go ahead. I said it'll be good content because yeah. I don't do mystery boxes and people be like, OK, he's going to give another one a shot. Let's see what happens. And, you know, people would watch the video. Yeah. Well, now you guys know why you need to watch the video so you can get the full reaction. Bro, in the shipping, what like I'm trying to find the video that he sent me from shipping. It <laughs> was. Did you send it Facebook Messenger? Hold on. I, I got a picture. I mean, I'm we, just, I'll, I'll show you guys the video. I can't, I can't do audio. <laughs> can't show you the audio on it, but uh, let me see. Well, I just was going to show the shipping, and then we could move on. Because yeah, that's what I was going to do was show the uh, show the the shipping too. Um, but I just, you know, I was really more so disappointed in the response is what pissed me off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm. and see, that was I can I can up. So Adrian, as long as he doesn't say anything overwhelming, I will upload the unedited version to all the members. Uh, we'll say Silver Agent. It was about like the CGC video, okay. but that was just like the apps after part of it. Like, and then you got a, you got a box in from IDW thinking that. Uh, yeah, I was like, dang, bro, <laughs> like, like, what are we doing with IDW? They should after all the advertising I did for him on that last Ronin. Uh, every five seconds, man. So uh, Adrian's already put it out there. Oh, yeah, there it is. You found it. Yeah, but it was in just like a plastic envelope. Books right. are just hanging out, bro. And they get the, the books got taped. I would rather he got the crack. That's what that's what uh, that's what uh, Greg said. And then just put in a bubble mailer that said like three dollars for shipping. And I paid like eight, eight or more for shipping. Yeah. So and, I don't you know. know, guys, we don't. We try to be very positive. We don't blast up. I mean, I put up videos like I did one about the Spider-Man suit. And you know what? I, I thought I rewatched it. I was like, it's just negative than anything. So I left it up for members only. That video never went public. We tried. And we've done that with some other things. We try not to to sit there and blast and be negative or whatever because it just doesn't do any good. But in this scenario, man, like Nosh, when I'm Nosh is doing a live video on IG right uh -oh, now. And he's in Vegas. He is in Vegas. That's right. He's in Vegas. Okay, we'll give him he's a He's jumping the strip. Hiding some crack right. with the I don't know the the, the girls in <laughs> Vegas and I'm sure he'll come up with something funny. Yeah, Bueller, that one was bad. But but yeah, so <laughs> Adrian's already like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god, Adrian. Yeah, he don't care. <laughs> and again, oh my god, I don't want to touch my. F I'm telling you, this it is, is disgusting. So, <laughs> so but anyways, so let's move on to something more positive. I just look. I'm telling you right now. Bueller's what fifteen dollar mystery boxes are way better. Yeah. Yes, my fifteen dollar mystery boxes I did I felt more comfortable with, and I was so I was stressed myself over those so yeah. bad. My wife even said that she was Reared like, it. "You literally kept going back and and like like adding stuff to those yeah. because you kept feeling like you hadn't done enough." Like I feel like my fifteen and there were some books that slipped that. through by you that that you didn't that you yeah didn't but I mean I made them. sure like there was number ones in yeah. there there was first appearances there was again, a signed book in almost every single one hundred dollars versus fifteen twenty right I mean no don't do that don't do that don't harass don't, <laughs> don't harass don't do that. yeah just just don't buy the mystery boxes that's all yeah don't do not just don't do, do it that, that just is don't not do what it. we want yeah not at all not at all please don't. No, well, and Panda, don't do that. <laughs> We're not Adrian. And in, in my video, I did. I I acknowledged who it was and everything. So like, it, it's it's not a secret. But I just don't want it to uh, turn into a uh, a bash fest from Two Brothers Comics. So that's no. not what we're trying to do at all. So no, y'all, please don't do that. We're not trying to. What is it? not doxing? Thank you, Pay Panda. Like Adrian's mad I, right now. Yeah, he's and I appreciate. Like, like I I can see Adrian right now flipping tables. Like he's probably got his hat dude, off, rubbing his bald head. I was I was the his same hat way. Back on. Uh, we were talking, and I'm like, yeah, my my. I usually, my neck. usually, 
I was hot. I'm the one like because I was the one that was mad and you were telling me to calm down. Yeah, and then I saw everything. I'm like, no. Yeah. Nick's, Nick's like, like, I'm burning we're, we're gonna burn our channel to the ground to end this. And I'm like I didn't care at that point, dude. Over a hundred bucks and the, <laughs> the response is what got me. What's going on, man? How are you doing? What's up, Sending? So if you back up like five seconds, we were talking about a really terrible <laughs> mystery box. Anyway, so something more positive. So so King Huntsville Kong versus Godzilla was effing awesome. I said effing. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, Adrian, I'm right there with you, dude. But I just, you know, we don't want to cause that those, those kind of issues, and you know, just if anybody, don't if anybody if want to. wants to know, just to make sure that they don't purchase it, you can feel free to hit us up on Instagram. Yeah, and I'll give you the name. But uh, exactly, and Joey Bronze, <laughs> I could never, and that that's what I bothered me is the response, man. Like all. Came from a crack, but you know what? Points bronze. And Nick, Nick probably thought I was over the over exaggerating. Always, because he does, he does over exaggerate sometimes. and gets angry over little things. Yeah, he thought I was over exaggerating about that Mortal Kombat book too until he saw it. Yeah, and after seeing the book that that freaking um, uh, Tyler got that that Invincible yeah. nine eight. And seeing that that hit a 9.8, my Mortal Kombat book's twice as good a condition as that book is. We're retiring all of our catchphrases and slogans. That's it. We're no longer collecting your way. And you're, no. You guys are no longer the best part of us. <laughs> Greg <laughs> and everybody else. <laughs> <sighs> I, I just saw what Greg wrote. Oh, my Can God. Can you highlight it for everybody? I love Greg. <laughs> That's it. No more Greg catchphrases. Greg found the Michael Scarn Funko, man. Oh, yeah? Like I'm not buying Funkos and figures anymore, but like I still want to get the office ones. The, that one has a special place in my heart. <laughs> yeah, that Godzilla Kong, I didn't see it. Oh my god, you I was, spoiled it for their. Uh, I didn't even mean to, like, because yeah. they told me they watched it last night. But um, but yeah, I'd been, I I wanted to watch it Thursday, and then I wanted to watch it Friday during the day. But I promised my five year old because we sat down and we watched Godzilla together. Then we watched uh. King of Monsters together. We watched Skull Island together, and I showed him the trailer, and I wished I had done a trailer reaction with my five-year-old. <laughs> we would have went viral because he lost his flipping mind. Dude, what if I, I resubmitted this and got a 9-8 because CGC sucks? Hey. <laughs> but I promised him I'd wait and watch it with him, so last night, me and him and the wife, we had Friday Night Wings, and we watched that movie, and it did not disappoint even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Yeah. Even knowing, even though I knew, like, Pretty much what was going to happen. I mean, oh my God. Like, it was so good. King Kong is all the way that dude. The only way I'm going to watch it is if Jack Black comes back in it. Well, he wasn't even part of Skull Island. So, good. Oh, it was a that. different franchise? He, yeah. He was, oh, he was the one he from the early 2000s. He was in Kong. Yeah, that's right. Was it Kong? That's right. It was, Nine yeah. two crew. Guys, by the way, we have some new stickers coming in. Uh -oh. I'm not going to show them off yet, but I will say that they have to do with being a 9-2 crew. Made that for Dustin. Our new logo with the updated fonts coming. Um, did we use our Super Chat or is that the same one from before? Uh, that's the same one from before. Okay. That's, that's from my tobacco. That's right, your tobacco. Um, and then what else? <laughs> yeah. Not in this movie, though, man, because she was like five years old. But it was such a good movie. He was so bad in that movie. Like, even when he was getting beat down. I haven't watched it yet. Like, you could not, like, I don't care what nobody says. Like, Kong, and I was, I had turned to Team Zilla, but yeah, Team Kong all day. Tyler, all I have no clue. Day. I'm serious. I, I'm, I've been. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I love them both. And it was really hard for me to pick who I was rooting for in that movie. But it got to where, like, like you couldn't root against Kong, man. They, they pulled you in and made him make, – they, they made you uh, feel sorry for him and root for him. Like, like they made you well, have King to Kong root for Kong. Kong has always been the one with the most emotional pull. You know, and, and – Godzilla was actually TM nerdy. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, a uh, <laughs> he was actually almost like a villain at one point, but Kong steadily was like making you had to pull for it for him. So wheelchair I, I superhero, good night, my friend. Have a good night, brother, and uh, we'll make sure we will send you happy birthday wishes. I promise you. Now I'm digging that shirt, dude. I just got a right. It was good. It was good. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I'm going exclusively CBCS, I think. Let's see. I don't understand 
I'll see GC can grade with no notes. Sometimes they don't even hit nine. Eight. Yeah, I know. I've got, I had a 9.0, got no notes. I have a 9.0 or a 9.2, no notes. Like, I, I mean, I can understand for a 9.6 and a 9.8, but a 9.4 and under should have notes. I think a 9.8 should have a note. 9.6 should have a damn note. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I think it should too because it's like you, you knocked it for something. Tell a 9.6 because it, it has one spine tick right yeah. now. Yeah. But, I mean, it's like Tyler's book. Tyler's book had, you could see at the bottom here where it was yeah. split up the spine a little bit. He had a spine tick right there and the had a dog ear up here breaking color. And all he did was folded it up when he sent it in. He didn't even have that part pressed. And they still gave him a nine eight. So I mean, I don't know. Panda, thanks, bro. Now we got three y'all on the wheel for the super chat giveaway box. Absolutely nine point two and team Kong. And then shout out to Legal Burning as the new member. My man Randy all day. Mm. And again, guys. <laughs> it, it. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I was I'm telling you. Legit upset. But anyways, um. What else has happened this week? What's some other news that has come out this week, man? Thursday and Friday, I was kind of behind because we've been getting getting stuff going, man. Love him. How do you feel about uh, your precious Star Wars being infiltrated and destroyed by Brie Larson? Okay, first off, Star Wars has been destroyed. Oh, hold on, hold on. I know, I know. Here, I'll let you hold it up this time. <laughs> Brie Larson. No, Star Wars has been ruined for quite some time. That's okay. Except, oh, speaking of Star Wars, oh, she, I see you're in there. Oh, Lord. Uh, speaking of Star Wars, I finished Rebels and Nobody Clone cares. Wars. Dude, so good. And then I'm so pumped up for the new Bad Batch. I'm all about it. I'm reading Thrawn right now. Southern Comic Geek, just out there hanging out in the shadows. He's just putting it all hanging out, out in there the shadows. <laughs> you know, I didn't even check that, but you know what? We don't have to worry about him ever writing anything bad, but they're not making notes because they don't want accountability and any larger incompetence. Yep, uh, that is 1,000% right. And I'll tell you guys something else with CGC. So the, these time frames that you're seeing on the websites and stuff, because mm -mm, let me explain something to you. They, they don't. Yeah. Ryan and I, Comics and Death Metal, and I did a submission together because we had books we wanted to get fast-tracked because we wanted to try to move them while they were still... Uh, I had a bunch of Something's Killing the Children variants, and he had some Star Wars stuff. They were both hot at the time. We were like, hey, we're going to move these and uh, put them towards a, a big book that we were both wanting to get. So we paid an extra $10 per to have them fast-tracked. All right, so I think total, it was like an extra $80 for me, an extra $80 for him almost to have these fast-tracked. Um, our books have been there for now. Uh, this Monday will be five weeks. They've been there and they have, they just got checked in last Wednesday. All right. Fast track is supposed to be 27 days, but what they're doing is as long as I don't open this package and check it in, the time frame doesn't start yet. So this book came in today. Cool. I'll open it up in five weeks whenever I know we can meet the time frame of 27 days and we'll check it in. And that's when your time starts. So we paid all that extra money and we still aren't going to have these books back. It's still going to probably take almost two and a half months to get these books back after paying for fast track prices. Now, some of you are probably going to say, well, I saw Skeff got erratic back already. Yeah, but Skeff, he put that in a higher tier in the express tier, which cost him a hundred dollars plus the fast track fee, uh, which, you know, for that book was worth it. But you know, that's about the only way you're going to get anything back at any kind of decent time is if you go express tier with a fast track or if you do a walkthrough, but you can't send anything like a modern tier through pay fast track and think you're going to have them back in 30 days. Cause you're not, cause they're not going to check them in for at least 30 days. And then when they check them in, then the time starts and that's where they're getting you because they have their little loophole they're using there. And the grades are going to suck. The book's going to be backwards. The label's going to be wrong. And, you know. I'm going with CBCS on that two-day, son. Well, you know, these are books that I planned on selling because I wanted to buy a It won't matter. Book. They're not going to be hot anymore. By the time I got back all my venom, it was too yeah. late. Well, I don't think those Something's Killing Children books I really have to worry about because <sighs> there's there wasn't anything that made them hot. Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, regardless... I mean, uh, you know, but I mean, if I send them CBCS, then yep. I'm looking at a 20% loss. So I wasn't going to do that. But 
um, you know, for for personal collection stuff, like I don't mind. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. But yeah, that that that's their mo though. They're they're putting those those uh, crazy. Uh, time frames out there, but they don't start the time frame until they check your book in. So you can check your your tracking and say, well, you got the books on this date. That's right. And they've been sitting in a pile in the back until they could get to them and make sure that they got them out in their time frame. That way they can say they did what they said they would do. And uh, so that's that's how that's going to work. Just yep. just for anybody that, that was not aware, which I'm sure a lot of you are. So, yeah, we talked about that, man. We talked about that. Cause we were talking about how crazy it is that people are paying $2,000 for that book now. Yeah. Like thinking you're getting ahead of the game. Like if like you're not ahead of the game anymore at that point. <laughs> for real. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've had a big book. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't think she's hot, Chris. I don't know, man. It's just me. Yeah, I'm going CBC, yes, because, bro, I I'm mean, more of a Scarlett Johansson kind of man myself. <laughs> she is. Uh, she does have, uh, I think, very positive opinions on things. I would, I, I mean, I'd let her take me okay. between the legs before I'd spend a night with Brie Larson. <laughs> Let's get on to, to the <laughs> stuff. 20 days until Mortal Kombat. I know. I'm so pumped. Dude, in the Eastman signing books, bro, they, they're not even getting them all done. They're going to have to mail them a second time out to Eastman and Laird or whoever's doing the full signing. Because they're not going to be able to do them all while they're there. They overbooked it. I'm not bringing the can out again, but uh, trash. Yeah, that's trash. You believe that? So that's that's like another thing that's impact. And yeah, and that's another thing that's impacting uh, the the grading wait times. Because when CGC set up all these in-house signings, they did not think ahead and try to. I'm prepare. sure they did, but the they, money doesn't no, matter. They don't care. They yeah. did not prepare and bring in more graders. So that they could uh, take care of this this new set that's going to be coming in, this new stuff, and still keep up with their normal everyday. Tyler said income. his didn't get signed. So, yeah, so. I didn't even send one. I didn't send one to JDF. I didn't send one to Kevin Eastman. I just I'm not doing any of that, man. I'm not paying all that money, and I don't even get to talk to the person. Like, it's just not worth it for me for that. Like, and I'm not a big signature guy anyway. One hundred percent, Joey. But. You know, that's just me. But yeah, I'm 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 going exclusively CBCS. I think outside of magazines and stuff, unless it's a book that I, I need to really sell. Well, and, and like I said, but you know, I have my Star Wars their, one going, Star yeah. Wars 42, 68, mm -hmm. uh, my Flash one third, uh, what one thirty nine? Why can't I? Always in? No, no, it's the uh, first reverse Flash. Oh yeah, I always want to say one thirteen. Oh, we got to look for a one ten for Steve while we're at. C if it, I see it at one ten, I'm buying it, bro. If it's, if it's affordable, for no, no, for, for Nick, he wants a four point up. Well, he can. I told him I'd look. You could look. But if look. I see it, if I see it, I won't tell Nick. And it's a decent. I mean, I probably but, won't buy it anyways. But they're using their loophole here. of the time doesn't start till your books get checked in. Yeah. So, I mean, my I've had Turtle books at CGC since October or November, yeah. and they literally just got they they just got graded last week. So, yeah, it's crazy. It's I did not know crazy. they put out a new Space Jam trailer. Yeah, I could care less. I'm not watching Space Jam. I'm not watching the new Mighty Ducks. <laughs> you would Mighty Ducks could ruin your childhood. What do you like mean? if it's not good. Well, now that it's Mighty Ducks with Karen, it is ruined. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's not the original stuff. No. I mean he's there. He's there. Um, but you know it's he, fine. You have to go into it. You know. They yeah, did the quality did. version. Yeah. Um don't like the label. Yeah, I mean, at honestly, this point, I'm past that in my life. Let me see. Honestly, I think the only thing that you guys don't like about the label is it doesn't have the white around that. If they put the white in the square, I think that would change everybody's mind. Which they should just do a purple. Just completely like Ew. purple. No, I don't like that at all. all right, red. Ready? Red. Mm -mm. Okay. Green. Just got a little. And Tyler, Shattered Glass, dude, I'm not watching The Invincible anymore because I don't want it to keep ruining my opinion of the comic books. <laughs> I can't. So, I can't let Joe uh, Joe Rogan, uh, Seth, Seth Rogan, ruin it. Yeah, Seth Rogan ruins a lot of things. I don't like that guy. John made me watch some scene from the from the show because he was like, "Have you guys watched it?" I was like, "No." I was like, "I didn't read the See, books." No, I think earlier when he said we were we were joking when we said we were leaving, but no, you missed a lot, Savior. You should go like later go back because we talked about a hundred dollar mystery box that was garbage, oh, yeah. and um, they're all saying give it a shot. But uh, 
It just looks like brick paper. Let's be realistic. This is all garbage plastic yeah. and paper. Anyway. Shit. <laughs> See? There's your, <laughs> there's your CGC case. <laughs> Guys, that just cracked, dude. Let me see. I don't see any cracks, but you guys heard it. it, and all I did was that. Let me see. I don't see any cracks, but you guys heard it crack, and I barely did anything. Right there. Crack. It sure enough did. This oh, is well. one of the older older slabs? No, it's not. It's a new Oh, no, it does have the weld right there. It's okay. new. Oh, right there, bro. I did, too. Cracked it and barely did anything. Just don't show that part on the eBay pictures. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just don't show that on the eBay picture, dude. Fire emojis and you're straight. Seriously. Yeah. I'll throw an eggplant on there, yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Justin wasn't here again. Uh, did you all see that? I mean, seriously, that's how that's that's being clipped and going on Instagram. Oh, CGC's cases are <laughs> shit. <laughs> and I'm, you guys saw I wouldn't you even do it short. <laughs> you too short right there, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all should clip that and tag CGC. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't box Nick after that. You will see what I do to a slab. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And we were joking about we knew whenever we did the fire emoji that you guys could hear us. We were joking, but but yeah, I cannot I mean, believe like that legit just cracked. Yeah, it's okay. I don't think anybody's gonna care. I don't think it's CGC. Yeah, it's invincible. It is. Did y'all believe that just happened? CGC label looks better, but CBCS cases are awesome. Every bit as good as CGCs, if not better. And I mean, CBCS is getting close. They're they're really like within five to ten percent on sales uh, prices right now. So well, let's it, be frank. I'm not going to let it go for anything. You know, that's they're the same. They're really, really climbing to being very, very close. So I cannot believe that. Just is happened. this real? Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. And again, we were joking about the fire emoji thing. Like we knew y'all were <laughs> unmuted. I don't. Hey, no way, Panda. I got this for two twenty five. It's like nine hundred dollars now. Oh nine fifty because I, I cracked it live on YouTube. That's gotta have some type of cred. <laughs> well, that'll be nice at some point when I can be like, Oh yeah, this was on the, the two brothers comic show that's like a ten percent premium all of a sudden. <laughs> are we gonna do like they do? I don't think the new ones are thinner, are they? No, the new ones are like much nicer. Yeah. I think they're basically the same thing. I think I'm gonna instead of uh sending that signed uh Jack Kirby book. Hold on, y'all hear it? Well, they're all like that. Yeah. And that was before. I was told when I brought that up with uh, something's killing the children's, I got chastised and was told that that's just how it is. So there's no hairs. That's good. Uh, PGX I, shall not be named in this channel. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll tell you what, I almost bought a Uncanny X Men 266 PGX. It was either 96 or 98 yesterday at that same shop out, out where I bought those other ones. There has been too much crack, Austin. I almost bought it, but I, I didn't I didn't think to go back and check it. But right. I may do that because they've had it up there for like two years for the same price. Check it out. Look, we're gonna we're gonna have a new uh here we go. 20% premium. We're gonna have the Whack comics. Look at no stop. Set it back up. Just saying, ten bucks. I bought Look. that for ten bucks. Look just right there. Though. Look, we'll do the whack comics exclusive. I'll just stick that on the, the slab. <laughs> I cannot believe I cracked. Yeah, it. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing Dustin uh, buying really awesome Silver Age and, and key books this past year because you're gonna get maybe one or two more videos, and I think that's probably gonna be done for the year. I freaking cracked it, dude. That's karma. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. It's CGC, man. They're invincible. Did you say the name? What name for what? I don't know. You just said the name. What name did we say? You said oh, it. PGX. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Chris, I got a new shirt. I'm debuting on the hunt, bro. Just for you, bro. You're going to love it. I think you're going to love it. I really do. I'm very excited about it. I'll be doing the hunt live from Nick's house this coming Friday night. So. Oh, That'll be the second time I have won the world title for the hunt at your house. That's that'll be cool. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. I'm the only guy on the hunt that wins the title in two different states, bro. Are and now tattoos? I'll, I'll have oh, done it twice. I thought they used tattoos. Now there's stickers and there's like a micro comic in there. I know. I have like super so you micro can read comics. about space wars even smaller. 
This one's about Princess Leia. Leia's the, the, that B, though, like in a positive way. Ooh. Telling you right now, bro. Ooh, for sure. I don't. I would mm. send it to CGC or CBS. I mean, that's one hundred. Hold on, let me let me just clarify this. If I own that book, if this were my book, I a hundred percent would put it in a different case. If I was going to sell it, yes. If I'm keeping it in the PC, then it does not matter. If I had the book and it was mine, and I'm not telling you what to do at all. Do not. Take it as that, but if it was mine and I was ready to sell it, I would definitely swap it to a CGC or CBCS before I sold it because you will get killed on price for a PGX. Yep. Like I honestly, I would buy a bigger. I wouldn't even buy a bigger book because at this point, no. Because honestly, and yeah, they're they're right. You know, the the grade is, it has a good chance of dropping, but. You will get probably more for a lower graded PG or you probably G's, get more raw G's, at this point than you pay yeah, for it for a CGC than you would for a like if you got like a five O CGC you probably get more for it than you would the six five PGX. I mean it's just crazy. There's a lot to it though. But I mean, if you're not selling it, don't worry about it. I would take it to somebody that knows how to grade or maybe like a, a presser see what they think get their opinions on it because mm -hmm. they may tell you like hey. With the press, that's good to go up. But yeah. yeah, you don't even have to crack it, and they'll give you a discount if you send it to CGC or CBCS. If okay. you're coming from another company, they'll actually give you a discount. I think CBCS is offering 10% off this month. It oh, absolutely month. is, and that's why I'm really considering grabbing that X-Men 266, first appearance of Gambit that that shop has in a, CG, a PGX. What, what shop is it? Uh, Noonan. Remember, they've had it up there. How for, much for it? I don't know. But What's the grade? I don't even remember. It was a nine something. I'll call but them tomorrow and see if they'll ship. No. I think I won't. I need three of them, dude. You don't need jack crap. I need three of them. Oh man. I, I want to have. I want to. You, you seen that guy that has all those Hulk one eighty ones? He had like twelve or thirteen Tony? raws. <laughs> no, there was a guy on YouTube. He had like twelve or thirteen raws, yeah. a couple of slabs. And I'm like, I want to be that guy with 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 Gambit. <laughs> yeah, if you need a slab crack, just send it to me. I've done it live and in a video. <laughs> you know how many people were upset that I cracked up with a slab? Why would you do Thanks, that? Thanks, Kenneth. We appreciate it, man. Hope your family is doing well, too, man. Kenneth, you're the best, dude. Always drop in the comments. Always. So, Nick, let's talk about the con real quick for just a few more minutes. minutes. I know, but I was going to say, uh, we'll, we'll kill the last 15 minutes. Let's talk about, like, are you going to do you? Well, go ahead. Are you going to open up to them? Are you going to do any hunting at the con, like comic book hunting? I spent so we, much. We know you don't buy comic books anymore, so I do buy we're, comic books. We're all curious. Like, is the non-comic book collector part of Two Brothers Comics going to be hunting any comic books? Like, I buy comic books. I buy comic books all the time. I just bought a comic book, <laughs> and and I bought that. Like, I buy comic books all the time, but like, I'm just not hunting for any keys or anything like that, dude. Prices right now are outrageous. Yeah, I am using what I have to get into a bigger, better house. You know, bump up the credit score a little bit right now. You just rub them out of my face because I can't. No. Also, I tried my ass off. Did everything I was supposed to do. Well, now you're and gonna they have, still got me. Look, when you're stubborn and able to sell the stuff you picked up instead, you're gonna be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be straight. <laughs> uh, I might just go buy a new truck with that one. That's what I told who that. I hey, like, Adrian, will you watch the chat for a second for me, man? Well, matter of fact, let me. I got it. Well, just hold on. Just in, yeah, just hold on, just in case. Uh, tomorrow, have a good one, my friend. Later. Thanks for hanging out, man. For sure. And I, it. if I butchered that, like that's my thing. I'm not great at names, <laughs> but I do know cinema. I knew how to say simmera. Sim simmera. Wow. <laughs> what do you say? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all are wrong. Every one of y'all. Oh my god. Y'all are getting a like mm -hmm. they, they don't get to see this much. I've had too much uh, coffee. I will get a gambit soon. Saw a 96 and a 98 at the shop. Awesome, man. Awesome. And I have a 98 266. I have a 98 X-Men annual 14. And I picked up another 266 recently. Y'all see in the video. I wonder if Josh would trade me for a non-crack slab. He saw me do it. I bet you I could get him to give me the Harley Quinn book I want for this. I would. I wouldn't. It's Harley Quinn. Dude, like, it's Harley. But it's also Spider-Man. Look, Bo has time to hang out with us tonight. Oh, what's up, Rivera? What's going on, man? 
I always like the Winnie the Pooh in the tuxedo. For sure. How funny was it that that I said, "Hey, does anybody?" She's like, "I did see you do it." Hey, <laughs> Harley, Harley Quinn. <laughs> hey, man, Randy, we appreciate you, brother. Thanks for Absolutely. joining. Thanks for joining the channel, man. I'm almost. I am going to shoot you some uh, some dough here soon. He's full of crap. Oh, sold it on Thursday, Nick. I told you you should have done. Like Josh gave you every opportunity. He did too. He he told he me tried how, to help you out. He tried to let you do the payment plan, and you just want to sit on. I your offered hands. him like two hundred bucks for it. He said, "Okay, you want to well, sit on your hands." That. And the man made some money on it. Now you can't say nothing. You know what? You know who's not upset because a book they wanted got sold from Josh's? This guy. He is though. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's the first appearance of Harley Quinn. He had I, it like I don't think four. Josh is upset about selling me that book. Even though it's went up a lot, he knows who has it, and I think that makes his heart Josh, happy. a .5 sold on eBay for more than you paid, right? Yeah. No, it was $50 cheaper than what I paid for oh my God. Don't say what it is. Yeah. But, it, yeah, .5 did sell for like $75 cheaper than what I paid. But it's okay <laughs> because I needed it. Josh knew I needed it. Josh wanted me to needed have it. it. He knows you're not going to flip it and sell it. Yeah, ever. Like, there's no way. What in a hundred years? Plus, he's got like a six five. So Josh said they're good people. You know, at least one of us is a good person. One of us adds some real value to your shop with 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 video production and trailers. And one of us shouts out the shop every chance he gets on Damn. live, on Facebook, everything else. So entertainment, why does everybody complain about CGC and still use them? Basically, because they're the only real option to get full value. Yeah, it's, it's all about really value. It's all about the value. Like, 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 if you want, if you're planning on, and, and I've explained this before um, in the video where I really, really got hot. Um, I don't, I don't ever, I don't, I don't buy books with the intention to sell. Ninety percent of the time, ninety-five percent of the time. Um, and Josh is like, I will come to your house and rob you and stab you if you sell it. Forever oh. home. <laughs> But, you know, I also look at it at the same time, like everything that I purchase, um, if I'm going to have it graded, uh, it, it's it's not only to protect the book, but it's also um, it, it's it's an investment into that book, too. Um, and even though I don't plan on selling it, we never know what's going to happen if I lose my job tomorrow and I got rent to pay. Well, the first thing that I'm going to have to sell if it comes down to it is my comic books. So if I'm going to have to sell something that I love and don't want to get rid of, you bet your friggin' behind. I want to get as much out of it as I can. And the only way that's going to happen is if it is in this case. Yeah. You're going to lose money if it's not in this case nine times out of ten. So if I have to go down that road where I have to sell it, then, you know, I don't want to short myself and, and feel even worse about it. So that's my yeah. whole opinion. On and it. to me, I'm going full CBCS at this point outside of magazines and stuff, unless it's something that I want to. But even then, if I do want to grade it to sell it, yeah. it's going to be nine months yeah. and it's not going and, to be. And, and, and I understand this, too, because, you know, but but I have books that I collect. I have, you know, and books that I read. And something like an Avengers four, you're not gonna read it. Yeah, you know or, I mean? or a Captain America that is one. Like I'm not gonna open, treasure. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna open that up and read it. I'm not gonna open up a uh, Hulk one eighty one yeah. and read it. Like, but I get I get all know. the points here. But right? I love it's, that they're doing these though because I do pick I do pick these things up, you know, and read these. The reprints has the cover art and everything. Yeah. So, you know, I do do that, but at the same time, like... Hold on, Tosh. What are you saying? Because don't think I won't go buy a Tech Comics, like, 0. 0.5 for that. Tech Comics 27, 0. 0.5 for that. Hmm. <laughs> Grease fingers and all. Hey, I, I, I dig it, man. I absolutely dig it. 100%. 100%. Like, we're not... You do whatever you want. And again, it's... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I want CBCS to be bigger and better, and that's why, you know what, Dustin's going to do his thing. I'm going to go full CBCS. Luke Jackson, what's going on? Uh, I did. I did pre-order Geiger. I think I yeah. got the A cover and one of the variants. I did a little video about it, too. It was very – like did I you? was Yeah. I it, didn't see it. Well, you know, I drop a couple of news things, and, like, I'll do a couple different things during the week, but that wasn't one of them. People always find it funny that I don't watch your videos. I only watch yours because I haven't watched the one I uploaded I was going to say, you barely – you don't really watch mine. You just, like, sync the wording up. 
kind of skim through, make sure it doesn't look like I'm doing anything like that you don't approve of, and that's it. Like, but we you, I, normally we don't know a whole lot about what our, is in our each other's videos. Like, yeah, we're together but separate. But somebody made a good point. Like, if we like if I stand up, and we don't have a huge platform, but you know what? If I say and I'm like, you know what? CBS, C, CBCS had a great experience for me. I felt like the grades were fair. That that may ha hold some weight for five people out there, ten mm -hmm. people, a hundred people out there, and maybe. But only if that's the case, right? I'm not gonna say it if it's not. And Sorry, I know that was loud. Yeah, but uh, yeah, super excited about Geiger. And, and the other thing with CGC is, is like you know, it's obviously is the A A one grading company right now uh, as far as preference goes. But it's slipping, man. As People far as preference goes, so dogging them. Here's my thing though, like if if nobody ever says anything, nobody does the videos. Everybody just says, "Well, I'm just gonna go CBCS." Like that doesn't ever. Uh, uh, provoke change for CGC because you know it's just being allowed. You, yeah. if you just allow bad behavior, then you can't be mad when it when they when the bad behavior continues. But you know, if if you say something and enough people you know get on that train, we see it every day. If enough people jump on a train, things change. No matter how stupid it is, but things change. You can rip a, 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 an all-star game completely out of a city if enough people are on board. So same thing with CGC. If enough people get on board with, you know, bringing up these issues, at some point maybe there would be a change. But right now, you know, they're the big swing and you-know-what in the grading field, so they don't feel the need to even have to acknowledge anything they're doing wrong. So that's pretty much where that comes. Pretty much where I'm coming from on that. Um, okay. Um, I'll get out of here. <laughs> what was that? I, I don't know. No. Um, Gator guards. <laughs> we got some CGC simps out here. <laughs> I'm so glad. And see, entertainment. So I didn't um, really care for the whole doomsday clock stuff, so I didn't read that, so I can't. Um, comment on that aspect of it, man. But, um, but yeah, I hope it's not something like that. I mean, I just want to read some good comics. You know what I mean? So I hope that's not the case. We'll see. Right. Um, yeah, a hundred percent. That's, that's absolutely 100%. I mean, in crap, uh, PSA right now, like good luck getting a card they graded stopped. in less than a year. I know me and John didn't even get our Deadpools sent out yet. Like, John and I. I'll slap you with just your Tommy coffee cup over just there. Say it. Well, I'm like, look, it is what it is. They just, it's a great cup. I, I never. That's what I, I was never, talking about. I never now. read it, but I wanted to, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, and it could have been the writer, so I don't know. Thanks, Entertainment. Appreciate it, man. We don't think so, but tell your friends. <laughs> If we hit 5K by July 1, he's going to get punched in the throat. Yeah, I'm the one that's going to get, yeah. Because he's me. short. I told him I'm going to come at him like this. and then just One of us has been preparing for this fight anyway. i got to so. slim down a little more first, and then I'll start coming at you like Eddie Hall. What sense does that make? That's like saying, I got his nose. That's like saying I got to get in a little bit better shape before I go to the gym. What? No, dude, because I want to be I don't I want to be loose when I start oh boxing gosh. training. You know what I mean? Oh, you're loose now. You got stuff loose everywhere. You're talking about me being loose. <laughs> Get out of here. Making me all self-conscious. I'm taller than you are. Dude, I, tell you I, that much. I put a rip in the bag the other day. Good for you. You bought a crappy bag and you chose. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> John and I see beer to comic books. No, I, I believe me, I saw. I, I I definitely saw it. And you know what? CBCS is backed by Beckett. Yeah, hundred percent. Or hold on, is it CBCS or no? CGC is Beckett, right? Or is it the reverse? Somebody correct me on that. <laughs> that is the most aggravating thing anyone has ever said to me. Oh my gosh, that really bugs me that he just said that. Punches with the bottom of his fist. Oh my god! Ugh, don't think I won't come back, dude. <laughs> I'm so doing that. Wow! Oh my god! I'm gonna put that hurt on. Y'all see, I already took his nose. My wife literally sits upstairs and she's like, I, I like, because our, our, our TV, we have a smart TV and it doesn't have a remote. You have to control it with your phone. And I had to redo the Wi Fi stuff so it wouldn't connect. And the only way you can connect it is by ordering a remote just to do that. So I don't know what happened to that remote because we had the TV for like five years. So 
we've had no TV in the house working. So she was just sitting up there doing her yarn and I'm downstairs training and she's like, I'm just waiting for like the, the freaking house to fall apart down there. Talking about hitting the bottom of your fist. You better get out of here, bro. You better get out of here. That's too funny. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so CBCS did get bought by, bought by Beckett. Yeah, so one's got PSA in their back pocket. The other one's got Beckett, right? Is PSA PSA and CGC aren't together. I thought they were. No. No. Um, so do we collect any comic art? So we have um, some art that we've been given from um, – uh, what do you call it? From some of our subscribers, I guess. So like Austin LeMay's Canto is hung up on my wall. Yeah. Um, I've got a nice piece by Steranko up here. Yeah. Uh, on the wall. That's something we're getting into as we continue our setup. It's just so expensive, man. I would love to get some art, but it's so Some expensive. original art too, boy. Yeah. yeah. So like, some, like I watch Kavi, uh, Comic Books NYC. Yeah. That dude has the most amazing collection of original art. It's insane. I don't know what he does for a living. But he does it well. He does it well. He spends more a week on like art than I think I spend in four months on just comics. Yeah. So what do you, what's our take on comic art versus books as investment? So it depends on what it is, but and we're not the investment yeah. people either. Here's my thoughts. Now are you talking original art, like like yeah, I think if we're talking about original art, here's my thoughts on that. From from or, original art is going to have a much smaller crowd of people. Uh, if we're talking about an investment, then we're obviously talking about like selling for a return. Mm -hmm. I think there's a smaller crowd of people that can afford that type of thing versus the comic books. Because if you look at like, okay, we, we've been talking about Uncanny X Men 266 a lot. A 9.8 of that versus the first page original art, it's crazy. You can even say Hulk 181, a 9.8 of Hulk 181 versus. You know, or, or say Hulk 180, uh, the last panel featuring Wolverine, original art, I bet versus you versus a Hulk 181 yeah. 9.8. It's it's going to be light years apart. Yeah. So that that really uh, 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 makes the the amount of people that you're going to be able to sell that to a much smaller. And that's why I look at like if I was going to purchase a book like a 181, I'm not going to be looking to get like. A book worth five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Because I think there are more people that would be, be willing to spend the two to three thousand on the book than there is those big, huge numbers. I think it's going to be a lot harder and take a little longer to sell something like that. And it may not, but that's just my thinking on it. Like I, yeah. I feel like I can move a two or three thousand dollar book, you know, any day of the week versus a fifteen, twenty thousand dollar book. So. I don't know. I mean, it's – and we don't know enough about what, what goes on in the comic art to really give a huge – That would be awesome to have. A huge, you know, opinion. But, like, if I were to take my money and have the option, I probably was to go with comic books and uh, because I know it more. I mean, to be candid, it's just I know that more. I know what's going to – Yeah, so that was basically what I saw. So I hope that helped answer your question a little bit. That's just, just my thoughts on it. Thanks, man. But if I were to buy anything, I'd go to Austin LeMay and get some original Canto – Art that he drew. Yeah, I mean, Austin does some awesome stuff, man. No, obviously it's not for the book, but I mean, honestly, when I popped it open, I thought it was from Drew. I thought, I thought Drew sent me something. CJ, what's up, man? What's going on, bro? What's up, bud? Hey, I, your stuff's with Dustin. Yeah, I got them in the back of the wife's car uh, in the floorboard under some Cheetos and other snack wrappers. I hate you. <laughs> I'm Nick, sure he hates hope, you. <laughs> hope Nick packaged them well. <laughs> Don't worry, he has books in there too. Um, Panda versus Josh Olive. Josh Olive is going to just, he's nine foot 12. So there was we're, some, we're hoping that we can rent this facility and actually have people come in and I watch. Love how Josh just randomly shows up when somebody mentions him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, if, if we can't have people come in and watch, we're going to have to charge all a little bit so that we can help pay for this facility. <laughs> I think we should charge to watch the fight, <laughs> make it a members only fight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah. I can't believe I cracked that book live. Well, you suck, so. Yeah, CJ, we're doing the super chat thing, man. Right now there's been one $14.99, one $6.99, one $4.99. And we're, oh, that's that's what I was going to do. I need to go ahead and put it in. So if you want to be entered into the super chat giveaway, $1.99 or more, each $1.99 gets you one entry in, and that's just our way of giving back. Um, so let me get that going. Hey, and I don't know how long you've been watching the channel, bro, but 
and, and I don't know if you're a male or female, but I mean, I call everybody bro. So, bro, I'm a huge Kirby guy, huge Kirby guy. I was so excited when I got my first ever signed Jack Kirby book not too long ago. So I am with you 100% on this. I ain't never let him go on my Jack Kirby stuff, though. But, yeah, I, 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 I discovered the beauty that is Jack Kirby's artwork uh, about this time last year. And I have not stopped. I have not stopped at all. I have not slowed down. Um, I have blazed through the Jack Kirby Captain America stuff. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to start moving on to Thor oh, dang. next year. Cause that's, that's, that's the other thing to me, Captain America. And then Thor, he does so good on Thor, man. He invented the, the hammer swing, man, effect that it's just, it's just a work of art. I just wish I could have the first. Oh, CJ's not messing around tonight, man. <laughs> that was cause, uh. That was because he knows that Canto won. I did him right. <laughs> he got. I, I I hooked him up on that Thor man. He said it was Bro, he's been looking for. I sent so. 100, 100 bill. I think it was like hundred dollars on that Canto. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he's, he's all right now. <laughs> Let me see the thing. Dan, Dan just like, hey, just, this is just to get in. Like, I don't really want to say anything. <laughs> oh, man. Jack Kirby DC, my first love. Ooh, Absolutely, love man. Absolutely. I actually, a uh, good brother of mine, Sean, uh, lives out close to me. Um, I bought my uh, Iron Fist 14 8.5 off of him. I bought my Ghost Rider number one 8.0 off of him. And he AOK'd me. He, he hooked me up and just gave me a very, very nice copy of, copy of Forever People number one this year. So uh, I agree dude. 100%. Dude, just be giving you stuff. Uh, Luke, neither one of us are really we're digging it. So I mean, I that might last go. episode was honestly last episode was good. But I got aggravated they, halfway through episode two, and I turned it off. Haven't went back, but I may just try um, to give it a chance. But if they do this reveal with the power broker, I think they're gonna do. I can't spoil it. I don't like what they're possibly gonna be doing. I just if it ends up being. The person I think maybe everybody's thinking of that appeared in this last one. It's not a bad thing to do, man. <sighs> All right. Sorry, I'm trying to put everybody into the thing, and Dustin's still the thing. Hold on. Did you not tell CJ nothing about that Thor run he's wanting to get from you? Let me see. Why do you suck I so can't... bad? People hit you up. Oh, yeah. You. Dude, because, literally, we get so many messages. Stuff it just is. disappears. It is. It's wild. I mean, and it's not just messages, but it's tags and stuff. And like literally stuff just drops. And I like, <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. I try. All right. Let me take this back for a second. Cap, what's going on, man? Good I to see this. you, man. Cap, I finally got my newspaper comics from Nick today. I'm so pumped to, to get those framed up and get them hung up in the new comic book room I'm building, man. So I'm really pumped about it. I finally got them here at the house. Oh, it's been a while, but I finally got them. Um, let's see. Can I can I run this again? No, because I can't type while you do that. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I got you. Do you use your phone or something? <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Look, okay. No, that's not cool. I don't like it. Mm -mm. Dash gave me. Books just so he could screw with me. <laughs> How messed up is that? Um, uh, favorite new comic artist. If we're talking cover artists, I really like Jenny Frizzon and I really like Clayton Crane. Um, um, trying to think. Who else that I've been enjoying? I'm trying to think of who's on Saga. Uh, the lady from Saga. I cannot remember. Oh, those covers are horrible. Bro. It's not about the covers. It's the interior art I love. Yeah, it's not good at all either. Um, hmm. Why can't I remember her name? Fiona Staples. Bro, phenomenal. Yeah, and I, I've never been a big Peach fan. Um, I know she's got a big following. But it's it's I'm kind not of, in yeah. it. I'm just not in it. 
like that Venom cover she did with Venom and uh, Stegman's phenomenal too. Uh, Let's just say what it is. The Venom book with uh, what's his name? Skinny legs. No, that Venom and Null cover she did was the most atrocious thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, but uh, yeah, I love Clayton Crane. I, I met Clayton Crane two years ago. First book I'd ever got signed. First time I'd ever spoke to anybody in comics. And I'd already stood in line for like almost an hour behind a guy who brought a suitcase of stuff to get signed. And he kept turning around looking at me with my one book in hand like this. One book. And he was just like, oh, sorry, man. I know this is taking forever. Like, like dude, you could have just turned around and be like, oh, bro, you only got one book? Go ahead, and then I'll finish. So, like, I wanted to tear this guy's head off and stick it in his suitcase, um, and not the one the books were coming in. But uh, by the time I got to Clayton Crane, I was just like, hey, man, can you sign this? He's like, oh, I didn't know this was out. Like, yep, it came out already, man. Yeah, and he I wasn't didn't, nice to you? No, he was, but I oh. was just, like, so aggravated. And at the same time, like, I didn't have anything to really – converse with him about because i just That's, got into a kind that is one weird thing for me um so i mean i never if i were to say. meet him now i would have a lot more to talk to him about <laughs> greg you were literally final cut off here in 30 seconds for this because <laughs> i was um, about to share the screen because he put team lebron james 23 he only gets one entry i'm dead serious well he only gets it anyways no he gave a dollar 99 uh, it's a dollar ninety nine per entry. Oh, okay. Well, then don't put the E and the G on his name. Just drag. <laughs> yeah. Matter. Joe James is killing the children. <laughs> I'll tell you who I really enjoy. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot his name. Your stuff should be at hold your on, house. Hold on. Let me I, know if it I forgot his name. Oh, Dan Mora. Dan Mora is great. Absolutely, King James. Get out of here, Tyler. You lost your mind. With with the with the league he's played in in the past, I mean, what five six years? Like, it's not hard to be the best. Like, there hasn't been a you know basketball's been garbage for a long time now. It died in the early two thousands for me. Um, I watched a uh, a documentary on Vince Carter the other day on Netflix. He's still one of the greatest. I loved it. I enjoyed it so much. I actually want to get. I, I've been considering get framing some jerseys and putting up in here, but I don't know. I mean, I guess it'd be cool for you. Yeah. Whatever, it wouldn't go well with your stuff. No, board. I would like put them like right here, like just in this little corner. Yeah. Get me a T Mac, a, a, a Jordan, a, a Bryant. Uh, I Greg could send you a, a Garnett. No, nah, dude, I like real ballers. Iverson, Garnett, Kobe, Carter, Tracy, Jordan, Paul Pierce. There were so many. The All Star teams in the in the early two thousands, dude, there wasn't a bad player out there. There wasn't a guy that wasn't an absolute one hundred percent franchise player. Uh, with those All Star teams, like there was just there was just there was. I'm nothing. so over USPS, dude. Check this out. So beans, I'm pulling up your shipping label. Oh, dude, Adrian, you can ask Nick. Like, like there there is nobody a bigger fan of Tracy McGrady than me. He had all of the shoes. I've, I literally had every pair of shoes the man. His ever seventh came grade out basketball with. tryout was in a trace or ninth grade was. My Tracy. mom bought me a jersey short set for yeah. Beans, all of your stuff should be there Monday. I sent it. I mean, this is ridiculous. Like Skeff stuff is showing a plate. I guess I should probably send out tracking numbers to people. Yeah, prior, priority mail. No. Ridiculous. Anyways, no, I haven't seen it, Greg. I haven't seen it. I'm probably not gonna watch it though. I mean, legit for five years. Get the hell out of here. What are you talking about, bro? Legit for five years. Whoa. I was so upset. They re released the T Mac twos, which were his best shoes. They re released those shoes this year, and I completely missed it. And I can't get a pair except for going on eBay at all. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Penny was Penny was he was awesome too, but I mean, I don't ever think about Penny when I think about the magic <laughs> because he was out there playing with freaking Tracy. All right, CJ. Congratulations, Signore. 100% Tosh, 100%. <laughs> Garnett, absolutely, man. Garnett. Who's little Penny. 
Penny Hardaway, bro. Look, oh, I was a football player. Garnett, I loved Kevin Garnett. Oh, my gosh. To me, Kevin Garnett was the last of his kind because he was the last of those guys that came out with that just nasty attitude and will literally say the most vile things he has to to get into your head because that's what I would do. I got kicked out of a game and out of the building while the uh, second team was in, while I was on the bench because I was yelling at the guys playing, and my mom got so upset at me because she had to walk out of the gym and follow me out in complete silence. But, like, like I loved that about him, man. The nasty, horrible things he said to LeBron James after they found out that his mama was getting mm, by a guy on the team. Oh, he got all in LeBron's head. I, I loved that about I him. I didn't know people were responding to my thing. So, Corey, I'm just not – see, this is the problem with Instagram is there's no way to keep up with anything because notifications go by. And I'm just now seeing Corey's response to one of our stories. No, I'm saying, like, Penny played at, at Orlando, though. And like I just I just don't think about him as much because I just think like Orlando and then I think Tracy McGrady. Like I don't even think Shaq when I think Orlando. Hey, real quick, um, guys, um, one of the great friends of the channel, Jeremy Bernard, is running a Kickstarter um, for a one-shot comic book, and it's um, pretty cool concept. I'm gonna drop it in the link here if you guys want to check it out. Um, he's actually gonna be helping us out with some giveaways for you guys. Um, uh, and he is an artist. He's a local artist here and, uh, indie, co a little indie comics artist. So, um, he reminded to me, Kevin Garnett reminded me of a much more athletic, uh, Charles Barkley with yep. his attitude, the way he played the game, all that. So happy birthday to Kay Lisa one more time. And then I'm also going to drop off this into the chat for you guys to check out. It's called passion fruit. <laughs> that's, that's it. hundred percent right there. I'm, I think I'm going to have to let you guys talk about this stuff because. Yeah, he was a flash in the pan, but he was, man, the dude could fly. The dude could fly. Very, very, very forgot about and uh, underrated. I wouldn't say underrated because I feel like at the time people gave him his props, but I feel like he's kind of underappreciated as time has went on uh, for his, his accolades and the things he could do yeah. on the court. It was ridiculous. All right, so let's talk about comic books. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't want to get me on this one, man, because I, I'll I mean, just I don't keep care. going and keep going and keep going. It's funny because I'll, I'll meet people and they'll start talking about basketball and, like, you know, look at me and not expect me to have any knowledge. And then we start talking and they're like, what? Josh said I played football. He was pretty good, good at it. <laughs> He's like, you play football? I said, yeah, dude. I was also the strongest man in my high school for quite some time. Unlike Dustin, he never won a power meet. He hates me so much. I did raise the most money for the first one. Did Papa Doug give you money? No. <laughs> oh, you just got people? I just lifted so much. Like oh. I didn't win, but if you remember. It was like paper pound or something crazy like that? Yeah, and if you remember, I was going up against guys because I was a sophomore. So I was going like like Sydney's grade oh, yeah. in front of me. In and all then fairness, you had we had pretty jacked people. I don't know if you know who Brett Gloyd is, but. His little brother Bradley. Yeah, yeah. Brett Gloyd was twice as big as Sydney, so like I had no chance. But I mean, I still raised more money than those guys. So, um, so our little short films we've been doing, guys. What are some uh, other things you'd like to see? We got a whole bunch of ideas, but I'm just curious. Like, do y'all like the idea of me doing the um, the off the rack reviews of like like you know stuff like like how many people have actually read this book how many people have actually read some of these books i mean is that something you guys think would be interesting for me to do like like that was the point of me putting this uh spinner rack together with stuff like this like you know you want mid babylon or like what no no just as like a, a short review like once a week like a short or like a short or whatever i mean because i can fit i can fit enough books on that rack that I can fill out an entire year without repeating a book and just going off the rack. But I mean, how many I'll people have read a good Instagram idea too? some Instagram content. I was going to talk yeah. about that because we've been able to like, let's, we need to push that too. And I think this type of content's good. Rack roulette. Oh yeah. I like that. That'd be cool. I don't know how I would do that, but I definitely, you yeah. can quietly read like whack comics. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Well, well, Dan, I'm stronger too. So, Dan ain't crap. I'm not Dan. Dustin. The only thing Nick ever did more than me was was squatting. That was the only thing he ever did more than me. How much did you clean? 
Uh, I think I cleaned 275 once. That's either right there where I was at or a little bit yeah. less. I hated cleaning. You I wish I'd have done it more. You couldn't touch me on a bench press, though. What was the most you got to? 460 when I was working oh, with Jake. Oh, with... When I was working with Jake. That don't count. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I wasn't even juicing that time. <laughs> that was more than I made when I was juicing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. You know, juicing like with vegetables. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know if YouTube will get you for that. There's our talent. <laughs> All right. Any other final topics before we let you guys go? We got to, we'll got we go 10 more minutes. Yeah, because we need to try to record a quick video. Before we're going to look awful. <laughs> you can't be mad at the dude because he is on point. I love that, dude. That was awesome, Chris. That was, Dude, that was a funny joke. Extra points, bro. <laughs> that was a funny joke. He's well versed in so many different things. Like, like I would not have expected that. Like, Cleaning and jerking, you know. <laughs> but he knows that was very good. That, that dude is intelligent. He knows a lot of things. <laughs> Made me feel awkward, but it was a funny joke. So, any other topic you guys want to chat about? Like an AMA, AMA. Ask me anything, and we'll prioritize members' questions first because I think that's fair. Because you talk too much. I think everybody's important. More investment videos. <laughs> All subscribers matter to me. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying, you know, we got to do something. Um, I bench 525. ASM out here, college, bro. Josh. Dude, we can make an ASM shirt. All subscribers matter. There's a reason why I'm the brain. Dustin, I'm with you. No, dude. I meant to say Dustin. Dustin's not crap. I just, I was reading Dan. <laughs> Investment videos, man, that's something that we're, we're very specific about. We're talking about some stuff, but it's just – it's hard because – We can do investment videos, but we're not ever going to do the type of investment videos where we would be coming off as telling you what we think you right. should spend your so money on. So this is what on. we're going to do. Hold on. No, no. Because I, we don't want to have – the responsibility and backlash of you said this was a good purchase to make and I bought it and then it hit the shitter. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So I was like thinking out loud in my head. My bad. What did you guys see with Bill's Spirit? That's ridiculous. Favorite Marvel monster. Uh, I would say is Morbius count. Morbius is a very interesting character to me. He's not technically a monster. He's a monster. Yeah, I would call I would I'll I'll, I'll allow you know what? Does Blade count as a monster? No. No, Blade's not. I'm going to go Blade. with Man Thing. Yeah, Man Thing. I would say Ghost Rider, but he's more cursed than a monster. So I'm going to go with Man Thing. Yeah. I think that's solid. So what was your highest dial dollar book each? Like the one we spent a dollar for? and Oh, the most expensive book in our collection? I can't say mine because uh, that would ruin a video coming up. But yep. uh, I win. And mine? D23 Expo. Probably at this point. Depending on what your Star Wars 1 comes back as. Yeah. But your Star Wars, but book, I don't. Your Star Wars one probably hit a nine six. I hope so. Yeah, he has a he has a Star Wars one that could probably hit a nine eight. Yeah, maybe. But but again, I I don't I've not collected for big books. Like for me, my biggest I, honestly, my prized possessions are my Dragon Ball Z run. I go in there and I look at it and I'm like, oh, um, Dustin's gonna do a video like that. Panda, when are we gonna get an all GI Joe episode? You know what, Josh, I will do some GI Joe shorts for you. Yeah, because that's about as much as we can get out of one. <laughs> I told him, I said, I, we were chatting. I said, look, let's do this, and then we can buy all the Hulk 181s and G.I. Joe books. Dustin, have you watched the new Space Jam trailer yet? No, he's not, but I think for two minutes you should watch this. Okay. And hold on. All right. You, you've been you've been reasonable with me tonight. So. There's a potential on the court, and I can help you get there. So he's watching it. Live reaction. Just, just for bearded. You never let me just do me. How does LeBron James have a whole neck beard and he's balding? <laughs> but then they put his hair back. And I'm going to randomly mute stuff. Just so YouTube doesn't get at this. It looks good. No, I, never mind. I, that looks bad. I hate the music. Why? What was wrong? Why is he going into a video game? Serververse? Server 
why, I'm already pissed. Why did you change the song? They had to, I'm sure. I do like him. I'm not a fan of him. His face bothers me. I love his humor. Nah. Anthony Mackie would have been way better. Nah, dude. What is this? Okay, the animation on it's cool. Why is he a cartoon? That's not the way Are it's they reversing to be. it? I don't mind. The music's not that bad. I don't like it. I don't like When I listen to the regular one, dude, I'm ready to lace up and go. Like, this right here makes me want to take a nap. They they put Yosemite Sam in I'm there. I'm shocked by that, actually. Whoa. The Iron, Iron Giant? So, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, what is that? Oh, movie? they got... They Re got King Kong, like they had Flintstone. So if it wasn't James, would you be excited for this? Be honest. I'm not digging it, dude. It doesn't have the same okay, effect. Okay, okay, okay. If it wasn't Space Jam, but so if they hadn't used that title, would it be something interesting to you? Like remove yourself from Space Jam and, and your bias against James. I don't like this whole. It reminds me of a mix between Ready Player One. And, it's like uh, Tron, dude. I don't know. Some Tron-y type stuff. Yeah. I don't know. But it reminds me of Ready Player One. Like, I will watch this because I know my kid will probably want to see it, but I do not like what they're doing here at all. I don't like the 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 Monstars guys they're playing here. I don't like the little pop-up things on here at all. Mm. Um, I don't like the music. I, the right. jerseys are trash. I mean, I don't know. It wouldn't matter. It could have been Michael Jordan coming back, and he'd be like, no. This is low. Michael Jordan would not come back to that trash. I just, I don't know. Invest your way. Like, like for me, Space Jam was something that was, like, so big for me as a kid. You'll see. It was so big for me. I, just I do like One Punch Man. Alone. I wish they would have left it alone. That really bothered so, me. So, fun fact about me, I actually do quite enjoy anime and a lot of manga. Justin Birch on the channel does, too. He's been reading manga like crazy. He also has a um, Muppet Babies number one omnibus. <laughs> I've never seen some. I found one of those yesterday, and I was like, does anybody need a Muppet Babies omnibus? Just joking, and Justin's like, hold on, I think I already have it. Yeah. I was like, you know, I didn't think about that, but I would expect you to have that. <laughs> it, honestly, after watching that, LeBron doesn't even isn't even the one that ruins it for me, honestly. Like I just everything about that looked looked just it just did not do it for I me. I am very excited to see what they do with King Shark. It did not do it for me. I liked in the original one. <laughs> Joe's like, so that was actually gonna be scripted. Not scripted, but like Yeah, it was supposed to be like like that's what I told Nick. Like I was gonna find a book that was worth like, you know, that Josh had like a five dollar price tag on it. Something just ridiculous. Why would you even haggle over this? But then I found that ghost rider and I was like, you know what? I really do want this book. I was, and I told Nick, I was like, let's make this a shoot. And uh so I told Josh, I was like, Hey, I found a book. We're gonna do a haggle video and, and it's gonna be and I cut real, like five like, minutes out of yeah. it. I was like, it's going to be a real life reaction. So I didn't, Josh had no idea what that book was until I laid it down. But next time we do it, though, we got to make sure that um, you guys don't talk over each other. That was like driving me nuts <laughs> with the audio. Yeah, dude, Dragon Ball Z. I have like the entire Dragon Ball Z run. I got to get all See, that. That's all him. I've never, ever been into the anime stuff at all. The only anime I enjoyed was that Mortal Kombat movie. I thought that looked really cool. They did a good job on it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, that he 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 collects those 25th anniversary issues, guys. So if anybody got that, hit him up. <laughs> what does that say? Love LeBron. The story looks fun. I don't know what Dustin's very. Specific. I just I I I don't like all these new effects that they're putting in it. I don't like the music. I don't like. It's just nothing anywhere near the original. You don't I, like I just, changes of anything. Anything at all. I'm not. I'm not with it. So. Um, so I've seen every episode of every Dragon Ball, everything ever, movies, everything. I've never watched. Not, I've never watched three seconds of any of it. It is, and, and yes, a masterpiece. Um, there's not. I'm not a bigger fan of anything more than Dragon Ball, quite frankly. Um, and Josh, your 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 just tiny little tidbit you added at the end was perfect. Oh, dude, literally perfect. 
I'm like, Josh made the video. Yeah. There were because we, there was a wink you were gonna do, but it never turned out. I right am an old film. man, and you can get off my damn lawn. <laughs> but there was a wink Dustin was gonna do, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that popped up right after I said that. That's funny. One hundred percent. I mean, um, just can't help it, man. It's GT, just the way I am. So GT is good, but separate it from everything else. Like watch it as a standalone. I love what they did with the the Super Saiyan fours and stuff like that, where they brought in like the apes. It was super cool, but just separate it from everything else. I, I was good with it, dude. I get mad every time they change what a Chevrolet truck looks like. I barely get to where I like the one that they got out now, and then they want to change it. And it's like, who messaged you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so I do. I don't like this new digital age, and and everything's digital. I don't like all. He that doesn't man. like Starbucks either, but it's still the best yeah. cup of coffee around. I, there's not a whole lot. No, of no, no. That I like definitely check it out because it is still a cool story, but don't think like. But again, granted, I did watch it right after Dragon Ball Z ended, and I was like, oh, we're going to get this. It's just so different. Dragon Ball Super is a better extension, in my opinion. Um, And I'm actually going to start reading the manga at some point. i got to figure out how to get it digitally, though. Hey, did you know Deadpool has a manga? It's the highest, um, most popular manga in the world is a Deadpool one. Hmm. I think you told me that or something. Somehow I knew that. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I agree, Ryan. I agree. Yeah, but he also becomes a small kid, and then they go on this weird adventure, and, like... He'll never say it on cool. camera because he has to, you know, he, he it just wouldn't look good if he did, but I guarantee you Michael Jordan is not with that new Space Jam. Probably not. Yeah, I agree. I cannot see little kids getting excited to see those Space Jam jersey short sets in Walmart. <laughs> And wanting to buy them. We had the, didn't we have Bro. Space Jam like uh, sheets and stuff? Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, I went nuts. The only thing I didn't have was the jersey short sets that they I sold remember, at Walmart. I don't know why. They that. had the Monstars and the Space Jam squad, the Toon Squad. I never got either one of them and I wanted them. I swear to you, I still to this day go on eBay and look for the Michael Jordan Space Jam yeah. jersey, the Toon Squad jerseys. Uh, They're what? expensive though. Other than you being an a hole, the one memory I have as a kid is us at that small house over there was like two bed, one bath. And we had the red bunk bed, and we took the sheets and made a tent out of it. We had three beds. Was there three beds? Okay. Yeah. That's right, because that had they had the junk room. Mm -hmm. That was pre Katie and Andy. Um, my life was good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's wrong. Um, but uh, but yeah, man, we we made us a little tent out of the bunk bed and mm -hmm. sat there on that red bunk bed that they had. I mm -hmm. think didn't they paint that for us? Or did it come red? No, it was red. I remember. I don't know why that popped in my head, but but yeah, we had a silver one later on that was different. It had a futon on the bottom. That's what it was. Yeah, I think I broke that throwing you on it. Probably, probably. <laughs> All right, Luke. Appreciate it, man. Have a yeah. Good we're one. not too far away, man. <laughs> All right, entertainment. Yep. So tell your friends, tell your wife, tell your kids. Hey, your if sons. you're watching, a lot of you, we've seen a lot of new faces For sure. comment tonight. We appreciate that. We always love to see new people in the chat. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out the other content if you're uh, new to the channel. But it was good to see some new folks in here uh, chatting it up. We always enjoy that because these these jokers we talk to every week, sometimes they get a little bit boring. So it's nice <laughs> to see some new folks in here. No, not at all. I hate you so much. You make me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Josh giving me free stuff and you. Well, see, I've built a relationship joke. with these people, so I can say that. You say it and you're going to be in trouble. I don't say anything. And I'm on. What do y'all think about this new Comic Tom haircut Nick's got going on? It's not. No. Oh, yeah. No, I can't say oh, what yeah. this is. That's the, the pre what he's got now. That's like the this time last year Comic Tom haircut right there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey, you need to make sure you add all the new members to the to the forgotten chat. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, or whoever runs it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell Mark. <laughs> yeah, if you're a member, please check and see if you are part of the the group chat called the Forgotten. If you're not, send me a message. Um, that way, I have your i i Instagram so that I can send you a message to put you in there. We don't do anything, but those guys have a good time. <laughs> and we had a good time. What are you going to do? Y'all get out of here. 
my haircut. Look, Comic Nick. Look. It, honestly, I have to do something because, guys, I have this thing and it's balding back, and I had to do something. He's losing his hair. I had to do something. I shaved mine on purpose, but and like the only and reason why it looks weird. only reason why mine looks thin is because the lights hitting it. But like my hair is actually pretty thick. But it's crazy because for some reason, like if you look right here, like the hair stopped growing here. I think because I've shaved it so much, like it's getting a little That's thin nuts. right there. But yeah, Nick's going bald, and I gave him crap too too much, so now he's doing this comb over thing because it, it, it. It is thin, thin up through there. It's all good. All right, guys. Uh, we appreciate everybody for hanging out tonight. Yeah. You don't even know who Vegeta is. You probably think it's a I just saw Widow speak, so. I don't know who that is. I don't I'm sure either. it's not a compliment, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girl, so that was pretty funny. Hey, we appreciate everybody for hanging out tonight. Thank you, guys. We uh, always enjoy having a good time on Saturday nights. Uh, like I said, not sure if we're doing a Babylon next Saturday night. It because we had the con all weekend. We're probably going to be dog tired, so we'll see. Uh, but we'll probably do a members live stream on the way to the con, maybe on the way home. We'll see. You know what? And we we did that the last time we were in town. People really enjoyed it. So if you're a yep. member. They got to see join. me walk around Kroger with that wig on and the glasses on that I had on in that uh, FOMO video. I walked around Kroger with the phone with all the members, and we went shopping around the whole store while uh, Nick got coffee. So uh, Bueller, Bueller knows I'm the most attractive one, and so does Josh. Um, Mm. I know mm. our, our dad's is bad, dude. Like it just like just he gone. Gave, yeah, he yeah. I bad. thought I was gonna get mom's hair, but uh, we enjoyed it. It was a good time, guys. Make sure you're on the lookout for the content coming out. We are going to be pumping it out, and we are going to record a video about uh, investment and the market, uh, that type of thing. We're actually going to record it right now, so. Uh, you guys are asking for it, but here's the thing. Let us know what you think by dropping the comments, hitting the like button, sharing it out. Ugh. Because when we see videos don't do as well, we usually don't go back to them. So um, it's up to you guys to uh, make sure that uh, we see that you're enjoying it. Because if we don't think you're watching it and enjoying it, we're not going to keep doing them. So, Hey, Josh, did you get your books, your G.I. Joe books? Did you pull those out and look at those? we got to pause for a minute. Away I did leave Josh. those glasses. Those are actually my night riding glasses from uh, when I'm on my bike. <laughs> Lou said, Lou, what's up, man? He said, who, I don't know who Katie Lang is, but that's funny. Yes, sir. We'll see you in Rocket City, the trash panda. All right. We got to wait. Did Josh, Josh is probably gone, bro. No, dude. He's he's he's, he's, he, he, he's polishing creeps. his X-Men, his uh, X-Men, his Avengers 4 and going night-night. He's probably sleeping with that thing. I would now. There's G.I. Joe's boy. Those things have gone up. He's only got one. He's got a 9.6. He sold, yeah, he sold the 9.8 last year. <laughs> you don't talk about feeling bad. He, he ain't feeling bad about the book he sold me. He's feeling bad about that G.I. Joe 9.8 he let go last yeah, year. I dropped four G.I. Joe books in his box. I need to see if he got them. Nice. Rocket City. Is Huntsville really called Rocket City? Yeah, and our uh, oh. team is called the Trash Pandas. Well, I knew the Trash Panda thing. I made reference to that. Which is stupid. Well, dress as unkind for the con. I thought about it. I thought about it. I am going to have the gear because I'll be doing the hunt Friday night. That's another thing, guys. The hunt. Go sub up Tony Sanders' channel and, and come watch. I'll tell you guys a little secret. I'll let you guys in on a little secret right here. For the 22 of you still hanging out, this coming Friday night on Tony Sanders' channel, The Hunt. If you're curious about these books I've been talking about, these big books I bought, the investment books, the big uh, grail book that I've got. If you want to get a sneak peek, you want to see them before I drop the video, you come to the hunt Friday night. I'm going to be hitting newbie comics upside the head with $5,000 worth of comic books that I've purchased recently. And I promise you guys, guaranteed victory. Come out, hang out. It'll be the last match of the show. And you basically come on, you vote for the book you like best, not the person you like best. So I'm not telling you to vote for me if you're there. But if you think my book's better, then you vote for it. You think his book's better, you vote for that. But it's a good show. We um, we uh, impersonate a wrestler tied to comic books, and uh, it's always a fun show. But if you want to see these books that I've purchased, you got to come watch The Hunt. Otherwise, you're just going to have to wait for the video to drop in about two or three weeks. Or if you're like me and it makes you cringy feeling watching this, you just do a bribe super chat and leave. And you only do that just to aggravate me. Like, vote for Dustin. Screw what the other guy does. I was asleep, I think, last time you did it or something was gone. It's he no did, worries, He Josh. didn't see him. 
No worries, Josh. Just just <laughs> maybe, I don't know, swing by tomorrow and check it out. I mean, you don't have to. I think you might expect what there are. There are four <laughs> cool G.I. Joe books. Um, if you want a sneak peek, Tyler, you got to show up and watch the hunt, man. So, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a good one. If you are a new member, if you're a member not in the group chat on Instagram, please send me a message so I can add you in there. As always, you know, collect your way responsibly. Don't buy spec books after the trailer's dropped. And you're the best part of two post comics if you don't sell a bad $100 mystery box for no reason. Mm -hmm.